we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Aziz Light indeed. I completely forgot to test that. There we go. Aziz Light. Alright. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh god, oh no. Oh crap. Please help. I forgot that we have bioscience ahead of us. Oh no. Okay. Please have mercy. Um. Well. Here's the thing. Um, I need... Oh, right, I forgot. We're just waiting on some Vitamelange Spice to get a little bit of... Uh, how you say... Spaghetti Science done. But I've actually only got, uh, Tier 1 Spaghetti Bioscience ready. Marsh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are these bots on the way? I don't think so. How about here? Fantastic. Thought I had these in my inventory, but apparently not. Um, so let's see. We need... Oh, right. I forgot. I'm gonna have to research Bio 2 before I can spaghetti Bio 2. Okay, then. How's our Vitamelange um, coming along? We've got mm, a decent amount, actually. Bear in mind that the extract has four times the density of uh, the regular spice. I don't actually need extract yet, though. Like, maybe I should just... Maybe I should just grab some regular spice. Maybe it would be easier to prioritize spice over extract just because just because of the stack density um, being so much lower. What if we simply let it run its course? See how much we've got saved up already. Oh wow. Uh, I think I think we're gonna have a train load already. Yeah, pretty pretty damn easily, actually. This is fine. And you know what? The splitter sending extract, I mean spice, to get turned into extract going around the mer uh, merry-go-round kind of prioritizes extract a little bit anyway uh, because of how the exchange rate is gonna work. So, I think I'm okay with this. We do have... where is our train? Uh, where is our train? Also, what happened with... I think I... I, I remember now, I had insert... Uh, sorry, not inserters. I had decider combinators here to control train limits earlier but ended up deciding against it because if vanilla schedule train just comes here ahead of time it's just going to wait until it's full um, and I certainly don't want train limit to be zero when we need to get rid of one of the fluids maybe space is already full uh, I doubt that fairly strongly let's see no. No, it is not. Oh, we haven't actually... Wait, what? Hold on, did I misconfigure something here? No? Oh, it just came up the elevator. Full cargo, empty cargo. It shouldn't be going around in circles. What? 
Um, it definitely doesn't have a load. Okay, let's watch what happens. It's going to go down the space elevator. I'm going to have to find it once it does, because the tracking isn't going to follow it. Alright, this is the same train. One second of inactivity. No stops with this name exit. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I, th I gave it the wrong station name. We don't actually have a station on this surface uh, with that name. Here it is. Full cargo, go for it. And now you can't. Because of where you ended up. There we go. So it's going to go and sit at Vitamolange Extract until it has a full... Is it not trying to go there? Is it just because of traffic, or what's going on here? Destination full. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. It got stuck on train limit zero. Alright, so I need to find the train for Spice and do the same thing. It's probably going round in circles as well. And the exact same mistake. Um, but yeah, there it is. We have a train load of Spice coming in. Here's our Spice train. Uh, we need it to go and get Spice from this station. Wait until full... And that should stop it from going round in circles. Fantastic. Cool. So I guess for those two trains, if we keep it like that, I don't actually need them to stop at a depot when they come back down. But maybe we'll change it later on, we'll see. And here's our first spice going up the space elevator. Then, and furthermore, Tastic. Where'd it go? There it is. And it should immediately get delivered over here. Um, and then our modest request for spice over here, which I haven't actually done yet. Let's see. Spice. Um, I think it's 2,500 for 50 stacks. We're just waiting for the spice to flow into these two containers. Just need half of it. Fantastic. Maybe I could have left uh, superior long inserters here. I don't know, could they go faster than 45 items per second? Let's see. Superior, inserter... They have the same revolution... Uh, rotation speed. Um, 1296 degrees per second. It needs to swing 360 for each insert. 3.6 per second times 12. 43.2 per second. They are just a little bit slower um, under ideal conditions than a 45 per second belt. Um, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. That should be fine. It'll sort itself out. Actually, maybe not. No, no, no. I think these get taken first by the train. Oh, yeah. The provide stack threshold is set higher than one train because of this. Um, when do we get more? Pretty soon, actually. I could send it early, which I think we'll do... 
that'll be enough to trigger that delivery. Um, how's our space elevator cable doing? It is backed up all the way as it should be. Fantastic. I think I'll set an alarm. Oh, I'm on. I'm in space. I forgot. Um, do we happen to have? What are they called? Mm, programmable speaker. I don't think so. I think I'll request some. We won't normally be using them. Um, but it's nice to have the ability to rapidly set them up remotely. They should already... oh. Request stack threshold 1. Okay. Um, that means we need to make like 50 of them. We have five lying around. Keep crafting until we have 50. Apparently we've run out of... Oh, heavy bearing. I guess that makes sense. Wait, how much purple belt are we trying to make? We've got 851. Uh, that seems like more than enough. We're probably getting close to our target already. 1,000. But yeah, it's straining the imosite for the moment, I think. Um, or iridium, rather. The other eye thing. Uh, where's my decon planner for straight rails? Don't know why these are still here. And that should do it. I don't think we've got robots coming, even though that even though there's a random roboport here. Let's run the construction train past it. Um apparently we're still not trying to make Programmable speakers. What's going on? It says we're trying to make 21 more programmable speakers. Yeah, right. Oh, here it is. Did I just miss it? Switching over? That's not going to take too long. Once we hit 50, uh, there'll be a train delivering it to the construction train. And then we can remotely place programmable speaker over here. Speaking of placing things, um, how about we get rid of the old power poles around the holy spell evader production area. And I'm just going to put programmable speaker here. And we're going to say if programmable, uh, if space elevator cables drop below X, let me know about it. I'm not sure how much that should be, honestly. It only stacks to 20, so five bits of belt is one stack. So we've got like eight stacks on the belt, probably if not more, in the machines. Don't you already have a warning for cable? Uh, you're right, I probably do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely forgot about this. Because this is supposed to have... Oh, wow, yeah. No, we... We probably have enough cable. Well, okay, this is a warning for the local space elevator, but it doesn't really tell us if... If our outposts might have trouble with space elevator cables. Based on supply. I don't know, maybe that's fine. Uh, where's our spice? 
It is not here yet. Why not? It's been picked up. Where did it go? Space. Uh, somewhere else is the answer to that question. Whoops. Uh, got to disable this one. How long till we get more space? Kind of a while, probably. Uh, we're not resource bottlenecked, we're just bottlenecked on this little build that I made. Uh... I don't really want to go to the trouble of making more before we have, uh... Oh, this isn't that slow. I don't really want to go to the trouble of making more before we get, um... Our advanced chemical plants. Let me just go and steal some spice. How much do I really need up here, anyway? Uh... The answer is, who cares? I'm gonna grab as much as I can. Put a bunch of irrelevant stuff in here for now. What? No, bad. Okay. And we'll grab what we can carry. I need more speed. I guess I can grab it all, actually. Uh, unless I want to go over here and get even more. Alright. Hopefully that will keep the spaghetti going for a good while. should have a requester for spice somewhere around here. I think it's here. I haven't done a... no? Doesn't something here need spice? Here it is. Oh. Good... Good job automatic request setting. Literally making it too full to work. Good job. Um, how about I shove some of these in here? And then we can get our first biomass. Fantastic. Might want it to go a little bit faster. How about a beacon? That's our power. I think it's okay much better. And there it is. Um, what's next? Well, what's next is I deliver biomass uh, to these, or I make copies of them over here, which would be easier. We've got one, two, three different fluids, um, plus blank data cards that we have to supply. Um, I don't think I have those fluids handy over here. I've got this one. I don't have lube. I don't have uh, plasma string. How many data cards do we need? Like one per catalog, right? And then one catalog per two sides. And we ultimately need like 700 sides or less. So we need like 350. 
I think it's like 350... Oh, multiply that by 2. This is... Not multiplied by 2, but that's 75%. Let's call it multiplied by 2. Maybe 1.5 overall. Okay, so like... Just be pessimistic and call it one biomass per science. Why have we stopped already? Because we got junk data cards. I forgot about those. Um, also, we need to recycle uh, the genetic data. I think we'll just go for one of these. And the junk data cards should automatically get taken away. Fantastic. Should probably upgrade those. Oh, give me back my inserters. Wait, where are my fancy inserters? Oh no. Uh, we got them. Never mind. So yeah, let's go about as fast as I can. Um, how about one of these over here? It's two stacks of nutrient vats per recipe. Both in and out. So it takes, like, for the for the nutrient vats alone, it takes two swings of an inserter, no matter how good it is. Uh, so you probably want to use the loaders for this. If you want it to go fast. But yeah, what do we got here? Um, 50, 100. That's about a sixth or a seventh of... All of the biomass we're going to need. Which of these is going to be slowest? We'll give it to that one first. Six point one two, four point eight. Okay, second one definitely. Oops. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which side I put it in, does it? Um, but yeah, that should be... Actually, exactly 50 biomechanical data. With which... We will certainly be able to research Vitalic Acid. Biocatalog 2 will let us get the recipes going, and then we need... I can't even queue this up until I... Wait, no, I should be able to queue it up. What's the other prereq? Bioscrubber. Only costs 20. Okay. That should be done... Almost done already. Fantastic. Probably... Carry more of these at a time. And I need to get moving, otherwise biomass machine is going to stop. Where's my data? Oh, 48? How did I end up with 48? Oh, let me guess. One or two of them has, like, one biomass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would have to be two of them, wouldn't it? Um, I'd better make some more space in my inventory again. Should have left this stuff behind before. I am currently a logistic bot. Um, and I 
probably shouldn't be taking the bioculture out of here. Uh, can we make this a filter, please? Uh, superior filter inserter. It's going to be going a lot faster once we start doing it right. Uh, probably just blacklist the bioculture. Blacklist the bioculture. Fantastic. And what did I just do? Shove all of this in here. I can shove 64 biocultures in here, which is like, uh, what, 12 and a, 12 and a bit stacks? We're now out of fertilizer. I think I have to go get that manually as well. Where are we making fertilizer again? There's, there's no fertilizer? I could have sworn a partially automated fertilizer. Well, whatever. I'll drop off some more biomass um, to start with. And we'll go get our fertilizer. If I can figure out where it's supposed to be. Evil plant? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gears and sticks time, indeed. Uh, I think we did this one already a little bit. Let's do some of this. Fantastic. And down the space elevator we go. Where did I throw together fertilizer, though? Can I search based on a recipe? Product. I can. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, now I remember. God, the more I learn about this mod, the more I like it. Factory search OP. And where are we going? I slowed down a bit too early. Alright, give me all of that fertilizer. That's going to last us for at least a minute. I hope. Back to the spell elevator. I have my reasons for putting it away from everything we've built so far, but I kind of wish... kind of wish I had a mall next to the space elevator, not up away from it. Alright, uh, we need to go to the spaghetti now. Now arriving at Sector C Spaghetti. Um, and where did I need to put this? In here. Alright, so that's going to be, what, exactly ten times as much nutrient gel? And we need two fertilizer, no, uh, ten fertilizer per one biomass. So one stack makes one stack, actually. In factory search, looking for raw ore patches is like a mini mod in itself, in team. Yeah, it's such a good mod. It's difficult to overstate. Um, you know what I would like, though? Some fancy inserters. Oh. Give me all of them. Even though they're going to take up a bit more space. Have we automated these up here? I, I'm surprised if we haven't. What goes into them? Um, quite a lot, actually. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. 
Are we making inserters here already? We are, so it's not going to be that much more of a pain. Heavy bearing, immersium gear wheel, immersium plate, aeroframe scaffold. Don't we already have these things here? Let's just try it. Superior inserter. Make sure we have at least 50. Might be a little bit overkill. Oh no, I, I know why I went for lots of these. But whatever, we'll see if the autocrafter can do that or if I have to add anything else. Immersium... I don't see Immersium plate or gear. Uh, we have got it requested. It's just not in the shared chest, as far as I can tell. If I'm wrong, then I wouldn't be able to do this. Fantastic. Alright. See him. Um, allow a couple of stacks. Storage full? This one? No? Or something else? Oh, as in storage in general? Uh, nope, there's room in this chest. Why do I have a bunch of biomass? Who knows? How do we make fertilizer? Uh, nitric acid. I don't really have that. I do have it over here. No, I don't want a spaghetti, a little fertilizer build over here. Let's just hold on to it, I guess. Alright, that's one more chest of biomass. And... I don't think we're quite going to reach the scale where it would be better if I automated it even with the temporary crap, but maybe almost, just because the stack size is so small for these. This is quite fast for data cards. We do need biochemical data to feed some other builds though, if I recall. And Zen. Trotsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Notice the statement before the name. My brain does that sometimes. So each recipe is actually two stacks here. Wait, did we already do a little bit of... We did biochemical data, bio uh, biomechanical, uh, only a little bit. Biochemical is churning, I think we triggered a little bit of biocombustion. So I should be able to go and get enough data cards to get some Bioscience 1 started. And we need very small amounts of it for some of the research that we're trying to do here. How much do we have here? Uh, 190. That's like half of what we ever need. And then... 240? Cool. We definitely need more uh, biomechanical data. So let's do that. But now we'll be able to get our first Bio 1 science.
in we go. I'm actually carrying enough cards that this is a problem. Um, let's put another little chest here. And we'll need an output chest as well. Actually, no, we won't, I don't think. What are my bots doing? Oh. Oh, I'm, these are all superior. Okay, these are all long inserters. Sure. We also need bio insight. I completely forgot about that. That's going to be a pain. No, it's not. I can just deliver the catalogs here. How much do we need? For this crappy recipe, we get two insight for one catalog. And we need one catalog, one insight. Uh, so it's three catalogs per science. Divided by two, because we get two science packs. So it's like 50% more catalogs that we need compared to... Um, compared to the science that we're going to get. Alright. Do we have some superior inserters in here? If not, why not? Probably because there's too much stuff to carry. I should probably reduce these a bit. Get rid of that entirely. 50 fast. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should ditch the old ones entirely. Like, when am I going to use a regular stack inserter? I'm pretty sure the superior inserters have the same passive power drain now. Oh, right, they got delivered down here. We doing bioscience? Indeed. Bidrith, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I set the target to 50, but we got 135. That'll do. And we're going to need to steal some SIG data, that's not a big deal. And we need some extract as well. Extract, uh... I actually need to ask for 10,000 just to get 50 stacks delivered. How much do we have in space already? For extract, I'm guessing zero. Yes. It's going to be a minute. How much is this? Uh, two, four, six, eight, about nine thousand already, which is actually pretty good considering how slow the old chemical plants are. Also, we're bottlenecking on this build still. I think I'll just trigger that to deliver already. And we'll go and steal some. And maybe I won't just have LTN bringing... Vitamelange to the spaghetti sites. short on fertilizer again, aren't we? I'm going around in circles a little bit more than I expected for this. Uh, what do we got? 38 catalogs. We don't have biomechanical data. Go get some more fertilizer. Morning, Viking Gamer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, which card are we shortest on? 
Um, it's biomechanical. And this is only going to give us 50% of whatever I just put in. Alright, well, while stuff is happening, let's go get some more fertilizer. Preferably quite a lot more than I carried up last time. Where's my... there it is. Biomass. Uh... There's no petroleum. I'm terrified. Why is there no petroleum? Oh, there's no petroleum because this is a hybrid station and this is a vanilla schedule train that's in the way. Hmm... We've got plenty of room to do two stations here. I should probably just do that. Um, but for now, I'll just steal what you've got. And we'll manual drive you over here. I don't exactly consider it a reasonable ask from LTN, but it would be nice if um, if I had some more control over how the vanilla trains interact with it. If I could somehow prioritize uh, LTN trains over vanilla trains, like if LTN could somehow ignore the vanilla train limit or something, That'd be pretty cool. This is actually quite fast. Actually, maybe I should prod it, because we're going to run out of biomatter because of that other build issue. Uh, let's fix it. Biomatter is made quite slowly, actually. We'll park our construction train over... Where is it? Over here? Wait indefinitely. And we're going to destroy like 2.4 petroleum. Whoops, I did that in the wrong order. It's probably fine. Um, I'm going to have to change this thing's schedule. Let's just park it over here, out of the way for now. Okay. So now we're free to do what we like. Um, let's just pick all this up. We'll do a bulk rail loader about here. And we'll do a... Don't tell me all of the bots. Okay, no, they're just being stupid. So that'll be a regular old... LTN stop. I'm gonna call it Biomass Pickup. Uh... What's that stuff called? Biomatter pickup. And then one of these over here. We'll definitely need signals for this one because the vanilla train's gonna sit there all the time. And then we have a huge storage tank. Uh, and that could actually just connect right there. Give it some pumps. Realize that this won't reach. Cry tears. Uh, put this here as if we meant to do that all along. Wonder what the bots are up to. 
Do I have like a million ghosts somewhere that I've forgotten about? Because... I'm not exactly sure why the bots are so unresponsive. It's very strange. Uh, okay, so we're gonna say request a station. This will request petroleum. Um, and we should probably say why. Biolab. And out comes biomatter. Petroleum. Just found 2k space capsules sitting around in my factory, <laughs> as you do. Indeed. Alright, here comes our petroleum, and all of this should get to work soon. Now then, we can't put uh, productivity modules in this, so we're just going to go with speed. And I wonder whether it would be better or worse overall to give it some uh, to give it some beacons. It'd be like 20 megawatt of beacons to save power only when it's actually working. Why do we have so few speed modules? Probably because this is too full. Ah, uh, that's annoying. How about this? That actually worked. I think. Oh, this shouldn't be here either. Well, it's gonna need to change in any case. Um, if we're doing long trains only, why don't we just make this unlimited and use a splitter? And a loader like soda. Seems good. Oh, we don't actually have any more speed modules in here. Never mind. Yeah, it's normally lots and lots of prod modules, not lots and lots of speed modules. Uh, how would our rate compare, though, when we have 48? Oh, they still only go to 500 megawatt each. Yeah, I'm definitely not putting wide area beacons here, I don't think. Uh, what did I say? 48? 48 times this is only 88 oxygen a second. I don't think we have to worry about the oxygen consumption. Oh, I misread that. It's 500 kilowatt. For each of these, yeah, I'm not going to bother with the beacon. We could put a little... Where is it? We could put a little efficiency in here as a treat. Okay. Pick that up. Um, go back to base, wait, 
indefinitely because the bots are going to be crawling back. I'll go bring some speed modules. Also grab some more fertilizer. Where's our mall? Over here? Speed modules. Go burn. That's probably enough. I should certainly hope so. Oh wow. Oh wow, blue circuits. Might need an update. Tier 2 assembly machines, no productivity bonus. Rather than do a half assed um, assembly 3 and shove some prod modules in, I think I'll uh, do a build with advanced assembly machines. Are all of these working? Yeah, I think so. Judging by the animations. We must spawn more overlords. Fantastic. Alright, and that is a pretty respectable rate for biomatter, I think. Now we need to update our schedule over here. I go matter, pick up full cargo, and no longer will we be unable to drop off petroleum because there's a train uh, blocking the station. But for now, I'm just going to steal a bit. Oh no. Well, if it's going to be like that, just leave it balanced. Probably don't need to carry this many speed modules. What I do need to carry is a lot of fertilizer back upstairs. I should probably carry some speed modules though. And not prod ones. Okay. More fertilizer. I think my inventory is full. Good. Let's take this up to our spaghetti build. Just gonna borrow the fastest train we've got. Which is absent. Here it comes. No, don't take my fertilizer. No. No. Oh, I could have died doing that. That was not smart. Wait for passenger not present. And up the elevator we go. You know what? Since we just got used to traveling in style, uh, let's bring our taxi down here. Wait for passenger present. And then up to the spaghetti and wait for passenger not present. Fantastic. Probably going to be faster than if I flew there, honestly. Oh, it's literally already here. I didn't even see it. Yeah, I really should do that more often. Beautiful. That's our new 
nutrient bats, and more importantly, well, as importantly, nutrient gel. Gotta greenify the nutrient bats. And do we have any more data cards down here? We do. There's like uh, 150 biomechanical data. Should probably go grab that. Get this thing going. I think I'd like to grab a bit more biomass before. How much of the other data cards do we have spare? A comparable number. Let's just go. I forgot to use the taxi. Can I multitask? Wait for passenger present. Don't quite have the APM to do that without losing all of my jetpack momentum. But it'll still help. You know what? I should have just done a shift C there. Maybe it's not... I was going to say maybe it's not too late, but it's literally already gone. Biomass is. Almost there. One more. Two more. That one still has an odd number. Yeah, there's a few of them with just one. Close enough. Oh, and don't forget I summoned a train. That might help. Alright. Take me to the Skeddy. Wait for passenger not present. I was going to say, that didn't take long, but actually there was traffic for once. And... data cards go here. Fantastic. Should probably speed this one up as well. Spinny go burr. Or rather, science spins. And I think once we've got a stack, I'll take that over to make some, uh, what do you call it? Some insight. We don't have access to the better insight recipe yet. We would need higher tier bioscience to do it anyway, to actually use it much less, uh, or not much less, use it and unlock it. Oh, there's no old thermo fluid? Why not? Huh? Oh! Because this is using super cooled, and this is the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, well, we're going to have to... I don't have a pump on me because I dumped my inventory. Construction train, I choose you. All right. Steel pump. I'm going to have to pump this away, and I'm going to have to do a temporary drop-off for not as cold thermo fluid. Do we have scaffolding? Thank goodness we do. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't sound right. Um, some more pumps. A 
bit of... Wait. We have some 3Bs lying around. I'm sure they're in here somewhere. And... How much... Super cool thermo float are we going to waste? Practically zero, it looks like. 0.0? I'll take it. Um, there's like 23 super cool in here. It's kind of weird. I hope it got pushed in there. I think it did. Uh, let's see. So these are connected somewhere. Yes, they are. Good. Don't really have room here, so let's do it on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, don't forget this. And I don't know if that's going to reach or not. It's not. It's definitely, definitely not. Okay, um, so at least for now, we need to request not-so-cold thermofluid. Um, I wonder if I could just do a small amount. Request threshold... Fifty times a hundred is five thousand. Uh, yes, yes it is. So as long as we go higher than that, request threshold six thousand. And it is indeed bringing a train. Even though it's only looking for ten k, it's using a double train. Oh, I did tell it double trains only, so I don't know if it would have used a short train for that. But there's our cold thermo fluid. There's our first bio insight. Fantastic. We'll only be getting a hundred of those for the moment. Uh... Also, the build doesn't normally have to deal with blank data cards coming out. Because once we get the higher tier, there are no, like, wasted data cards here. So we'll just do that manually for now. Anyway, we've got 100 Bio Insight. Um, let's ride this thing back to here. And I'd better grab another drink already. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The tank isn't connected to LTN. Oh no. Good thing I requested a small amount. It's probably going to send another one. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have like 30,000 in there. That's probably going to last a minute. It's small enough that we could get it, uh, that we could take it back somewhere with a single train in any case. Now then, we're out of hot rod data. Um, let's go get some of that. Oh, I forgot to drop off the insight. And I'm sure we'll be needing blank data cards in here. Fantastic. What was I dropping off? Insight. I'm gonna need a chest for that as well. Okay. Back we go. 
should have used the train. Let's grab it now. Fuck over here and wait for me, please. Wait for passenger present, and then go back to mall returns. Alright, this time we... No, if I use Shift-C, it might put them in the other block. Also, it takes an extremely short time for this biomass to drain out. If I'd used... If I'd put it in both uh, containers, it would have been twice as fast as well. Not that it would matter, because this saturates in a moment. Alright, so what do we got? Oh, I need to steal some... Where is it? Some seek data. Ooh, this means we can start on Universal Simulation soon. In fact, it only needs Bio 1 and it's only 100? Let's unlock that. Actually, let's not until we get Bioscience in the rail network properly, because otherwise we're going to stop getting SIG data for a minute. Um, but yeah, looking forward to having the ultimate. Um, that's a lot of SIG data. We're almost out of bio over here. Let me guess, it needs oh, only one. That'll definitely consume them all. Fantastic. Oh, I, I, I know there's no train coming here, but I really shouldn't be standing on the tracks as a matter of course. Also, totally forgot my taxi that I called. Wait, 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 wait. You're so hard to click on. Uh, let's go pick up SIG data. Actually, I think you are empty. Wait until... Uh... Wait until full cargo. Saved by the navsat, indeed. Speaking of which, I still need to make a navsat build downstairs. How much do we have left? From the old science. 5.6k, it's not an emergency yet. I theoretically could have got clapped by a train there. Do you think this is enough SIG data? I, th I think this is probably enough SIG data for our spaghetti purposes. Probably. And... Oop. And... Uh, oop. And boop. And we, ha we need some extract, is what I'm realizing. Um, I also didn't leave enough room for the sick data here. Alright, so where's our extract? How long is that likely to take? 200 years? Oh, didn't I already force some to come upstairs? Yeah, we've got uh, most of a cargo wagon. Considering we need a tenth of a stack to make two Bioscience 1, um, that is at least seven Bioscience 1. Where am I going again? Oh yeah, Vitamolange. And for the ten thousandth time, I should have used the train for this. Ooh, something I hadn't considered. With this mod pack, uh, it might be possible to make some really nice, fast Spidertrons. Um, alright. Bit of melange goes in here. What the... Uh... 
probably make that a requester or something. Fantastic. And then I can just dump the rest of this into bot network. And we can actually start getting some Bioscience 1. What are we missing? Oh, I see. Uh, that's not a passive provider. Well, there's your problem. Also, there's no room. There we go. About one stack each, please. Fantastic. Alright. Vitalic Acid literally just needs 10 Biocides. This needs 10 as well. This needs 20, so we're up to 40. 140. Not counting productivity bonuses. Uh, so we are almost there. Give it some speed. And I think we get like plus 50... plus 48%. So if we have like 100-ish... Um, Bioscience 1, that should get all of this researched. Beautiful. Beautiful. It is time. Beautiful. Disco balls go burr. Doop a doop. And doop a doop. And when can we get. Uh, I wish we. I can't remember. Is there still a way for me to set it so it doesn't pause the game when I go into research queue? Advanced lab, we can literally do next. But we need. We actually need bioscience too. And 500 of it. Oop doop. So now we've got the data cards. Uh, we can do better bioscience. Oh, yeah, it's literally just the second tier that uses um, super cold thermo fluid. Where am I going? Here it is. Raise a K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, literally just the second tier doesn't spit out blanks and uses super cold thermo fluid. So no wonder I was trying to skip it. Um, but now I need to. Let's see. I think you just need to host your game as a LAN server. Oh, I was hoping there was just some console command I could use. To my knowledge, it's baked into the save or console to unlock it. Brown and Aces, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just gonna switch off this constant combinator. Um, we're not going to request anything because we're just going to connect it to here instead for fluids. And I need to get a train to come and bring, uh, you know what? I can just do a manual schedule instead of messing around with this. So let's grab a LTN scheduled train. Park it here. Wait until inactivity. It's a fluid wagon, right? It had better be. Did it just zoom past? Uh, apparently. 
Okay. Didn't I say wait till inactivity though? Why did it blow through the station? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then I need to give it a stop to drop off negative 100 degree thermofluid, uh, which is going to happen here. I think it'll actually just keep going indefinitely with inactivity. Uh, let's see, negative 10, negative 100. Here we go. Bottom left. So once this is empty, go over here, wait till empty. And we'll have to turn the pumps around. It's actually taking a little while. Uh, turn these pumps around. Oh, this is chronically full. Because I don't think we ever have to return negative 100 degree thermo fluid. Is what I figured out. Otherwise I would have a drop off like this. Yeah, I think it's only negative 10 and, and 25 degree thermo fluid that ever comes back. Um, the ways that we can make cold thermofluid, unlike 25 degree thermofluid that has 143 things that technically count as recipes, um, it's literally just use the hypercooler. So in that case, um, I should probably just find a drop off that has some spare space for negative 100 degree. Let's see. Negative 100. Obviously we've got it here. That has room for over 100k. Uh, and it is the drop-off at the satellites. Right. So instead of that one, go drop-off here, wait till empty, and... Away you go, back to the depot, where your schedule will be reset, because LTN. That's neat. I was getting confused with the queue unlocking for multiple items. Uh... Bit the pause aspect? Oh, here we go. Found this in the Factoria forum. There's already a setting called single player game causes uh, pauses when research is completed. Really? Uh, is it in interface? Uh, options other. No. Oh, is it... Don't tell me I need to update Factorio. Oh, no. There, there aren't some advanced settings that I'm not seeing here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, if you ever install Factorio and it won't stop flashing orange at you from your mouse, it's one of these somewhere. Probably this one for me. different setting where it opens the research queue when a research completes. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I already have that disabled, obviously. Alright, uh, we have like two cold thermofluid left in the huge container. Away it goes. Delete the cold thermofluid. Delete all of this. And connect this 
back up. Fantastic. Good thing it's impossible to put the wrong fluids into a machine. Although, if you could, I would certainly hope that this button would get rid of all of it as well. Um, but yeah, we should have dropped off that cold thermofluid with no trouble over here. Fantastic. Now, is this set up the way it should be? I believe so. Nice. Um, and the next time we do Insight, we're going to be doing it with Broad Bio. Kandar Jr., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. For me, I have no problem. My keyboard and mouse being like a disco. Oh, no. Um, so it's time to build some spaghetti. Uh, we need biocombustion resistance data. Maybe I should have just brought those fluids over to make it easier. Experimental genetic is actually pretty damn easy. We need one more genetics facility. Um, we need to make experimental biomass already. And we need plasma stream. And we need vitalic acid. Uh, and lubricant. I should have just... Uh, even to make spaghetti... Sometimes it's better to just do more up front to make it easier over time. Okay. So this is going to be experimental genetic. Um, we're gonna need some, whoops, some I.O. That's probably more than we need to request. Although I don't think we're having any trouble with the volume of genetic data. Okay. Need some more biochemical for a couple of things. Um, I need to do a drop off for lubricant, which means I uh, for lubricant and for um, plasma stream, which means I probably should have done these up here for the spaghetti to begin with. Uh, and then for biochemical, we've already got chemical gel handy. Definitely, definitely should have put a little bit more effort into our spaghetti, as much as we're going for a small volume. Okay, so let's do a couple of LTN stations along here. Um... Or maybe just one. Well, no, we'll definitely need a couple. This needs lubricant. And has the same two outputs as this crap. That lines up really well, actually. And we can just do request a chest. Mm, don't know if I should share that chest. Big ol' storage tank. Uh, can I not get a... Logistic stop? Fantastic. And I think I had a three. Perfect. We also need two of our builds. 
plasma stream. And I've already got chemical gel up here. It's got those same two outputs. But we don't really have room for it. Could probably put it like here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Something like this. I better get some water. One minute. Okay, where were we? That goes there. And... That goes there. This is gonna have to... Go over here. Not too difficult, actually. And then... I'm tempted to utilize this. Quest... Well, um, condition is biochemical. Biochemical is less than something. And then we just request a little bit of everything all of the time. That's actually so much easier than what I was doing before. Even for such a small scale. Even for biochem being a pain in the butt. Um, are we not building this? Why don't I just pick up all of this? I'm not burying stuff right now. Uh, that should be a requester, actually. And we're just looking for loop. Um, it's like 10,000. Don't care if it's a short train. Should already be scheduled. Or not. Oh, I need a smaller request threshold. There we go. Bots are cheating, indeed. Cheating is for winners. <laughs> Both in farming and truck sim. What? Chroma support in farming simulator is great. Random thought, when the construction train builds nearby, it imbalances the bots. Uh, probably. Perhaps if there's a latch that disables loading bots when the train is filled and re-enables when it leaves. Yeah, unfortunately I can't tell the train to, like, wait just a little bit before it leaves, right? Otherwise we could fully automate that. Oh, that might be more than we need. Um... So I need to go get more insight. I won't be getting more insight until I do Catalog 2, though. 
Um, is this... that's not part of Catalog 2, but we're going to put this down here because... Why are the bots hovering? Um, what was the build that uses combustion? Uh, plasma stream? Biocombustion resistance dartur. More importantly, what kind of machine do we need? Another thermodynamics facility. Fantastic. It's basically the same... It's like the exact same recipe slash build, uh, except instead of junk cards, out comes recycled experimental biomass, and we have to put experimental biomass in to start with. Alright, let's do another one of these. Just switch this off. Another one of these over here. Change that to... Plasma stream. Move these up a little bit. And... I'm gonna have to do the junk output. Is that the same? I think it is. Con con contaminated bio... We can go over here. what I want. Um, it's fine. All glory to the flying spaghetti monster. Switch that on. Here comes our plasma stream. I still don't know how to make uh, experimental biomass. I think we need another growth facility. Specimen number two is... Experimental bioculture plus nutrient gel. How do we make experimental bio... We do need a growth facility. Uh, and it has the same two junk outputs. Uh, how do we make experimental bioculture with yet another genetics facility? Uh, and some bio sludge. Which we've got up here somewhere. Hopefully we won't need any more. Another requester, another provider, don't ask for 40 of those, and have some speed. Alright, we already have our purple things, fantastic, uh, you should probably stop there. And then, I think I handmade the growth facility earlier. Or, I'm pretty sure we need a space manufactory for that. But I did the space manufactory equivalent of handcrafting. Just need some more lamps. What is that about? Spag? Indeed. <laughs> Uh, I may have flown a little bit too far looking at chat. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think around here we've got our lamps. There they are. Cool. And then we need specimen two. Uh, for that we need nutrient gel, which I haven't actually put in a pipe. I guess I could do it this way. I guess I could move this. Um, I guess 
miss a lot of things. Now I need to spaghetti the contaminated cosmic water all the way over here. Spaghetti intensifies. Let's go. And then we just need request a provider. And 15 of those is fine. Whatever. Does it output junk? It kind of do. Let's give it a purple chest and uh, tell it as long as there's a few specimens. Where, where are the specimens? Oh, this doesn't actually search specimen, does it? Uh, what was it called? Biomass. Uh, as long as experimental biomass is less than, like, 10. Uh, I guess we can leave a little bit. Or all of the room for output, actually. Purple chest for the genetic facility top left as well. Um, we don't really need it because... Well, I was going to say junk data cards go over here. Which they do... But a train isn't coming to pick them up is the problem. Provide stack threshold 100. 100 junk data cards. Uh, is there a problem with our junk data card recycling? Looks like it. The problem is that we're not consuming enough blanks. I have to admit that was not the problem I was expecting. Um, I could just make more storage for the blanks here. I should come and give it a... How you say... Balancer. If I only allow long trains and we use a splitter here, then that'll work just fine. Um, also, we could probably request more junk data cards here, however many we can fit. 600 stacks? 30 grand? Um, the output's not necessarily balanced, though. I mean, in, in theory, it should be. Oh, and over here as well. Well, that's kind of a temporary fix. Obviously, once we start doing science again, it won't be that big of a problem. Um, I do have extreme priority on picking up these blank data cards as opposed to using new ones. But, yeah. I'm actually tempted to start my world anew, implement more of your philosophy, indeed. That's very flattering, thank you. Um, but also I totally get it, I, and I don't just mean, like, tooting my own horn, especially playing Oxygen Not Included. Um, there is a train here that is holding everything up. That should go there, actually. Uh, yeah, you get so far, and then you see the way certain things fit together, and you're like, I could do so much better. But then it takes so long to get going again. Especially space exploration. It is... It is a very, very... Very long playthrough. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Alright, so hopefully junk data cards will be finding their way out of here. Looks like they already did. Fantastic. Um, okay then. And it's done. 
nice. Now we just need some planks and biomass. That's fine. some junk as well. Oh, we need like a... I was gonna say we need a swap chest, but this will actually get the job done. Same thing, limit uh, hot rod data to like 10 and biocombustion. Alright, gonna need another robopot. We got stuff incoming. Fantastic. Is that actually everything for our spaghetti sides? Except for the actual um, research servers, of course. Catalog 2 and Bio 2. Um, yes. Might be most convenient if we do it this way. We also need bio scrubbers. Uh, it never ends with bioscience. chest for these as well. I need some more insight. Uh, for insight we need catalog to... yeah we don't need insight to make the catalogs. I don't think I've done biochemical resistance or biomechanical resistance, have I? Let's see, we need the Vitalic Acid for that. Biomechanical resistance is not the same, um, but it's as easy as this one. We need another mech facility. That can go there, and then we spaghetti that up here somewhere, somehow. It's actually kind of a problem. Let me just like move this over. Sort of. Yes. Actually, yes. And then it's just. Just chests. Once more. Okay, so why isn't this one working? Because I haven't configured the requester. This is fine. And that should actually just start working. Oh! And that's, that one's working. Products finished. Non-zero on all of these. Fantastic. Uh, now we need the thing what needs... Vitalic Acid. And we need Bioscrubbers. <sighs> um, we need yet another biochemical facility. More chemical gel. I 
I guess I could put it over there. What's its output? Both of the nasty fluids. Again. Oops. And I guess... Put it down here, it lines up kind of conveniently. We also need the Vitalic Acid here, somehow. And then the rest is just chests. Resistance. What a pain. Um, that should be everything except for Vitalic Acid, which is just Vitamelange Extract plus Nitric Acid. Uh, maybe... what kind of volume do we need? Very little. I think what we'll do here is... I need to... I need one of these giant machines. I'll just put it up here temporarily. Sketchy as it's gonna look. Oh. Even better, that doesn't fit. More scaffolding? Even more scaffolding? And... I think I'll just barrel it. We probably have a bunch of barrels lying around somewhere. Yeah, we do. Construction train, please come over here for a bit. These guys need a hand as well. just gonna barrel Vitalic Acid. Don't think we've got a bot coming with that. Drop in some extract as well. Still got a bunch of it over here. Let's just go get our extract. Oh, I'm suffocating. Cool, cool, cool. Extract, go burr, and then we need some barrels. We should have quite a few of the... Those are light oil barrels. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say we should have quite a few so I could just spot them. And extract. It is coming through a little bit slower than I thought it would. Uh, but one barrel will be 50 recipes, so I'm not overly concerned. Alright. 
Oops. Now then, we need to unbarrel it. Fantastic. And there's our biochemical resistance data. At last. Uh, less than 10 would be better. And there's our first broad catalogue. Which, uh, we also need scrubbers still. Scrubber is just... Way more vitalic acid, coal, glass, steel plate. And it has to be made in yet another biochemical facility. <sighs> okay. Um, can I just... No, I'd better grab some this way. Let's just make a request to chest over here. And... Request a bunch of this. Why do we not have coal? There we go. All together now we love bioscience? Oh, I'm gonna love redoing it. So it's not a complete mess. Now that we finally have, um... Uh, now that we're finally going to have the the nice chemical plants. You already went through a stack? Heck, nabbit. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me the input on this machine is huge. It might be. Uh, I think it depends on the recipe. Okay, it's fine. Probably. Probably fine. Let's get way more extract. Which we're probably going to burn through much faster than I would like. And give this a chest. That's not quite right. There we go. Is it just like super prioritizing? It, it actually is. It's super prioritizing the scrubbers. We don't need to bring that many barrels over here. That's another 252 uh, times 0.9 biochemical resistance data, which is more than we need. All right. How many bio scrubbers are we going to need? I think we get four per scrubber, probably. Nope. We get one tenth of that. Never mind. Uh, in any case, we need to take some catalogs. For a bit of a ride. Do I have my tier 9 modules lying around here? I think they're on the surface. Don't be bothered to get them right now. I just realized I definitely don't want to deliver uneven amounts of catalog. Because normally the trains would deliver exactly even amounts of catalog. Alright. Insight time. Let's go. That's not how that should work at all. 
Never mind. Maybe I should have just given it all to one machine. That would probably be a little bit slower. There we go. Nope, there's still more left. Okay. So how much did we get? Um, eight per pair of catalogs. That's much better. Much better than two, that's for sure. Working? There we go. Okay. That is 112 insight, which probably isn't enough, but it's a start. We need 500, no, we need like 260 or so uh, tier 2 bioscience packs. Where am I? Wrong spaghetti. Beautiful. Now we need some scrubbers. Why do we have no passive provider? Why are we so short on scrubbers? Because there's none of this stuff. Uh-oh. I really don't want to extend the robot network, because it's going to clash with these other two specialized uh, robot networks. Why no coal? Where, where's our coal? Probably because I haven't requested it in a long time. That might have something to do with it. Here it comes. Nice and quick. And it should be here in like 20 seconds. If that. In theory, could Factory Search locate the Tier 9s inside the pyramids? <laughs> or does the surface only render when you enter? I'm pretty sure the latter. All surfaces. Wait, what? Refresh? Oh, I think I know where the, where the Tier 9 speed modules are, actually. Does it... Is it possible to find them? I think it is. Oh, that's so cool. This mod is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Let's put some speed nines in here. Although... Oh yeah, no, I was going to say... It seems like we've already caught up. Whoops. What are we looking for? Biocombustion resistance? Uh, could I move that down? Probably... whatever. I, I, I don't think I can be bothered right now. We're going to be bottlenecked on all the materials that I have to move around anyway. Speaking of which, we're about out of extra. Ouch. Like a bird hitting a window. But you could, in theory, just... Jump in and out of the pyramid and use search to see what it is? 
Uh, sure, you can do that. Oh, hey, we got uh, some barrels here. That should last a while. Dr. Chaos, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Catalogs are actually speeding along quite well right now. Biochemical data is probably all getting consumed by higher tier stuff. Um, where is it coming from? Biochemical... Did I not make it here? Biochemical data. Don't need to search all surfaces. No, it's right here. So what's it missing? Nothing. Apparently we've got biochemical data in the robot network. Oh, are we not requesting this here? That's probably why. That is probably why. Fantastic. Alright, so how much are we looking for? Approximately 260 science, right? Um, do we need any more insight? Uh, insight times four. I think we're out of insight, so yeah. Um, could I perhaps have... A stack of this? Where is it all going? Over here. Well, we obviously don't need this request here. Wait, yes we do. If I'm going to output to there. Dub. Alright, how much have we got? 24. 25, 26, 27... I want to take 50 of each um, to go and make insight. Soon. How many scrubbers do we have? 25? We need more coal. Did I, like, limit this? I probably shouldn't bother. What are we up to now? Twenty. It's a start. Just need, like, thirteen times that. Alright, there's our 50 bios. Go drop them off to make insight. And I might just drop them all in one machine if I can, or two. How long would that take? Uh. A minute. Like six minutes? You could shift C to place them all evenly. Does that work? Let's try it. And apparently I just put in a bunch of data cards. Whoops. No, I think you're right. Yeah, I forgot. I kind of forgot the mod is called even distribution that we use shift C for. Cool, cool, cool. 
How's our junk data card build looking? Alright, it's, it's functional, at least. Do I have any... I do not have any uh, space belt on me. Let's go get this one updated. Um, I won't worry too much right now. Actually, make it empty. About rebalancing it. But suffice to say, we're gonna, since we're uncapping this, we're gonna use a splitter. Should make a spin off mod called Uneven Distro? Oh no. Oh wait, this goes here, and that goes there, yes. There we go. Oh. Maybe I should have ludicrous storage for the junk cards. Like, have some storage chests along the way here or something. Probably fine. Alright, that is 400 bio insights. I think that'll get us that'll get us way beyond our target for bio 2. And then we need scrubbers. How many scrubbers do we need? I'm typing calc, but I should use this so you can see what I'm doing. Oops. Uh, so we need, like, approximately 260 divided by 4 times 10. 650 bio scrubbers. We've made 76. So we're like a tenth of the way there. That's not comforting. Um, could I perhaps deliver a whole lot more coal and stuff here? It was coal, steel, and glass, right? How many does it take? Two of each. Uh... I liked how I could do control click for this, but this way I actually have to like check what I'm putting in. Savage. Just give me all of it. Five hundred glass. Five hundred coal, approximately. Probably didn't pick it all up. And steel. And bottlenecked on. We have no more vit. And I always run into that baby spaceship when I go over here. At this rate, I will have to go get more from the ground. Once we have the um, chemical plant twos, it's going to be going a whole lot faster. Okay. How much did I say we need? What's our rate of production? We need like 600, right? 650 or something? Uh, over the last... Well, that doesn't really count. Over the last 10 minutes, it's been 8 per minute. Right now, we're doing 24 per minute. That looks fairly consistent. So, like, almost half an hour? No. I do not accept. There we go. Much better. 
What are we shortest on here? Coal. Uh, and I should probably pick up whatever scrubbers we've made just now. Where are they? Fantastic. How fast does this go? Uh, 10 scrubbers per second. We should probably request more than 10. Yeah. Or I should have just put them straight in the container, that would help as well. 500. Let's get the exact number that we need. More faster, indeed. Uh, 1.48. Um, 1 over 1.48 is 0.68, we need 68% of, what is it, 200? 500. 338 Bio-2s is our target. We've got 52. That is unfortunate. We do have plenty of spice up here. Um, extract is looking a little slower, except that it stacks four times as dense. Okay. I think I'll just force this to deliver. Soon. What's your problem? There's no experimental biomass because... There's no nutrient vat because there's no fertilizer. I kind of forgot there were things that I had to bring up manually. Let's go get all the fertilizer we can eat. Actually, I might just borrow this train. Down we go. Quick as you like. Spellevator. I mean, down the spellevator. Uh, park ourselves over here for a minute. And then we're going to go up the elevator. Actually... It might actually end up being filled up, so let's just put it on manual. I wish I'd left more room in my inventory. Uh, looks like we've caught up, though. This is kind of fast. We could probably... Probably wait till it fills up a cargo wagon. Just another eleven steps. something on the ground I was going to look for? No, that was the tier 9 speed modules. And we're still starving for heavy bearings. I think... Where are you taking that? To make girders? I think we should speed up our iridium. 
even if what we're doing right now is kind of temporary with the amount of demand, um, I'm thinking more would be better, especially when we start spamming science a bit more. That's probably enough for now. In fact, I imagine, I hope, that's enough uh, to do all of our spaghetti bioscience. Away we go. This actually does belong back at the mall, except I would like it to wait here until empty. Don't get run over. Should probably just dump this in here. Oh, you know what I could do? It would be a little bit easier. Go here until empty. And then we'll just remove that stop once it's done. It's actually got quite a bit to go through. Fantastic. Alright. That was definitely easier. Now we have some coal. Now we have some... Uh, everything except for scrubbers. Let's get those. Fifty-four, have we stopped? We need more. We're going through extract alarmingly quickly. In fact, that's all of the extract until I go back downstairs, or... I think I already forced another delivery, actually. Um, so there should be extract here. That's not the worst. Not the worst amount of extract. But, yeah... Still pretty slow to make bio scrubbers with this. Um, I guess it's it's only sixty seconds per research pack, so I don't think there's any point in shoving them into. What am I doing? I don't think there's any point in shoving him into the research block until we've got enough. Could I ask how many hours on this save? Uh, yes. The answer is yes. About two-thirds of a month. Hazendhan and Petrie Cottontail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All of them. I forgot how chaotic Factorio was. T-Hax has corrupted me with his clean, methodical builds this whole time. Indeed. Gotta have something like this as a warning to how it can be otherwise. Like a head on a pike. This is an this serves as an example of what not to do. Alright, um I wish I remembered what I calculated earlier. Um, 500. 1 over 1.48 times 500, right? 
We need 338 uh, biocytes, too. And we're getting there. How many more scrubbers is that going to take, I wonder? Three hundred and seventeen recipes. That doesn't sound right. This was how I ran my factory ninety percent of the time. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's ten scrubbers for each. Yeah, I think I calculated like six hundred and sixty-ish scrubbers that we needed all, all over. Either a head on a pike or something comforting that reminds them of home. Okay. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Oh god, we're already out of this extract. Okay, let's go get some more then. Let's go get some more. Need you brackets in that math? Uh, I don't think so. Wasn't it just division and multiplication? Um, let's go get the extract. Um, wait for full. It's more than I was expecting. Uh, don't we need some extract in the spaghetti as well? Or do we? I guess I can look for requests. Extract. Uh, we do. A little bit. Okay. Where are they taking it? Right about here. Also got a bunch of random Holmanite core fragments. Where's the rest of it? I think most of it's going to go into bio scrubbers, right? Products finished 262. We're not quite halfway there yet. Okay. Storage. There's more here and here. all of it. I'm just going to keep most of it here. Hopefully that's enough. Well, how much extract does it take? 30 acid um, is 15 extract. We need 300 acid. 150? We need... Three quarters of a stack of extract in order to make one bio scrubber? No, it says 15. I must have miscalculated. But we do need uh, three quarters of a stack to make one set of four bioscience packs, actually. All right. Anything I should be doing to pass the time that's not that long before that happens? Who knows? I guess I could go do another Iridium outpost. At 
doesn't take long at all. We're halfway there. Alright, uh, let's look at our candidate planets for Iridium, I suppose. Moons and planets. Sort by primary resource. Um, name in base, Petrie Cottontail, fair enough. Can I get in on the Spellevator crew? Indeed you can. Maybe in gold? Uh, yes. It was supposed to be two different redeems for that, but it's fine. Um, Petrie Cottontail. Fantastic. Same. Do we not have you here already? That boy not so slim. Uh, maybe over here. Duncan? No worries. Um, alright, let's look at our candidate planets. Um, we've already got Stromhurst, obviously. There's Oswulf. Moderate radius, not that many biters. Uh, oh, it's incredibly close to Hagen orbit, that's why. Asimius. It's right here. It is probably, probably shorter to go there directly than via the anomaly. You know what? I want to try something. Um, first of all, we start scanning. Second of all, we see Pyramid. And third of all, where are the biters? There's one. There's not that many biters, but it's kind of far away. Let's see how effective our glaive is. Surprisingly effective. Okay, um, how much efficiency are we at? 11.78%, but we're pumping 22 gigawatts into it. If they have any, um, behemoth, uh, armored biters, it's gonna take a while to chew through their hit points, I think. Solar, indeed. Can we request T-Hacks as a name? What? I want to be immortalized forever on the Great Spellevator, indeed. Don't we want Here comes Bean. Jaws theme plays. And how long does it take to kill a behemoth? Not that long, considering it's not pointing straight at it. Yeah. Um, I guess we can clear this moon this way. Although it's going to go ahead and ignore these two. Oh, they're still burning. Is he actually going to burn to death? And just sit there next to the water while it happens? Damn. That's bleak. Okay. 
Need more damage upgrades? Apparently not. Uh, but yeah, let's go set up Oswolf. Um, I didn't even realize, or I forgot, that we had such a convenient uh, outpost target. Especially since we're falling behind on Iridium a little... Wait, 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 wait. What am I saying? Don't we already have... Nope, never mind. I was going to say, don't we have Iridium backed up? We definitely do not... Well, we do at our outpost. So apparently we still need more spaceships. Um... I should probably check to make sure that nothing's wrong with our spaceships. I could check the counter, but it's never been accurate. Uh, one headed for outpost four, two headed for outpost two, and I think that's four headed for outpost three. This one's inbound, this one's headed for 816, I think that is, uh, Wexivis? Spiriso? No, that, yes, yes it is. Which is Beryl. Uh, which one is this again? Spiriso Orbit is number three. Well, you know what? It all seems to be working, and it takes a while to check. I'm just going to put a little bit of faith in it, and if it falls over, it's not going to be that hard to fix, I think. Probably. That exoskelly keeps the juices in? Lobster for sure? Oh no. And how's our timer? No, oh, it doesn't. We don't have a spaceship console. Why don't we have a spaceship console? Because they're all in here? Well, that doesn't really explain it. I, I mean, I can go get them, but it's only a temporary fix. Get, get, give me the, give me the spaceship consoles. I'll leave one in there in case something breaks somewhere. Um, but yeah, aren't we trying to make these? Apparently. Should probably aim to have more than one. We need some... Oh. I think we ran out of comprehensive. And that's the actual problem. I brought these here manually a while ago. And I do it again. Uh, seems like we're not having a whole lot of trouble producing those automatically, so let's just request some. Can we do short trains here? Yeah, but we've got a request stack threshold of 100 anyway. Hmm. There's no way I can, like... No. Fine, we'll bring a whole train load of comprehensive... And that will probably last to the end of the playthrough. First, the patch kit approach past T Hex took. Patch kit approach. Hmm. 
Oh my god. Give me a moment. Okay. Uh, so there's our spaceship consoles. I think they're already built now. Fantastic. And there's our reactor warming up. Uh, we are up to holder number 15. I really want to get the higher tier spaceships made so we don't have to have quite so many of them. Also, apparently we're missing a booster tank. Um, that's a little surprising. No beryllium plate? What's going on here? There's plenty of... There's not that much beryllium plate here. I see how it is. Um, what if we did this? That's still gonna take a little while to catch up. Let's just go get some. Beryllium plate. Wait till full. I got a new puppy. Congratulations. How's that? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Puppies. All right. Uh, apparently we need to go a lot faster with Beryl as well. I should check if the barrel is saturated. Um, the barrel core fragments, that is. Nope. 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 Uh, and we don't even have a ship waiting to drop off uh, Imasite Cave core fragments. So yeah, uh, we need more ships. Indeed. All right, there's our uh, ion booster tanks. Fantastic. And we don't really need to wait till this is full. Um, just send it to Hagen Orbit. And it should auto-anchor... Unless... Why, why doesn't it auto-anchor? I wonder. I could just force anchor it to one of the free... drop-offs. So once it's ready to launch, um, Dispatch is going to give it this information. And it's going to go get the resource that we need the least of. Fantastic. Let's make another one. Assuming we have the spaceship floor, which I didn't check. Looks like we might. Fantastic. And then... He's already launched. Where are you going? Planet Orbit 685. Which would be this one. Yes, indeed. 
Alright, one more ship. At least. I can almost definitely drop this number down a bit more. Make it like 15 seconds before we program in the... Um, the stuff to the memory saw. And start the reactor. Fantastic. Name it Ion Hauler 16. Integrity check. Watch. And. I don't know why, if it's got a speed signal... It's got a speed signal, it's got an anchor target, it's got a destination. Oh, I guess technically it doesn't have a destination, yeah. So we'll just manually anchor it. Over here. I guess I could program in a destination. To make the automatic launching of our new ships that much easier. Um, so we're going to add a decider combinator here. We're going to connect it like this. And it's going to be much the same except... What's our uh, moon orbit 1180, right? Yes, moon orbit 1180 is going to be our destination. One one eight zero, and output moon orbit input count. Oh, cool. so I think the next ship we make. Uh, once we launch it, should already clap back. It should automatically clap back to. I think it's this drop off. Um, as soon as it's available. Was there a second holer in space that wasn't docked? We'll have a look. I don't have it automatically sending a launch signal because I want to manually do this part. Let's see. Caller number 14 is just vibin' without a destination. Wait, did I tell it to anchor when it was unable to? Or something? Possibly? And then we've got 13. Uh, something might be wrong here. Something might be wrong here. Well... The ships that we do anchor here seem to be leaving properly. Stromhurst orbit, Stromhurst orbit, Fuenestra. Well, you sent it off before you realized the new haulers weren't getting destinations? I don't know. Let's anchor down here. And then we've got at least two more here. Oh, this one's waiting to land to drop off Imasite Cave Core Fragments. Uh, but it doesn't... Okay, that's alarming. It's got a little bit of... Uh, how did this happen? Oh, I think I remember looking at this yesterday. 
Entity name, space pipe long 15 is in the way. But I think it's trying to land at the wrong place, like here. Or, no, not here. Rather. Hopefully that fixes it. And now we've got number 8, which doesn't have a destination clamp. And also has Imazite Cave Core Fragments. I'm a little concerned by this. The destination sector Hagen, not Hagen Orbit. Was it? Closest Hagen, destination Hagen Orbit. Keep an eye out for that next time. That's the second ship that I've seen that doesn't have a target clamp on the memory cell. Um, when it comes back with Imosite Cave Core Fragments. It's a bit of a worry. Nothing's changed here. We've definitely got enough power for the spikes when the trains use the space elevator. Also, let me just double check. When's our next um, energy beam? It is headed for Hagen Orbit. That'll be fine. Wait, when is it? Uh, not for over a day. Okay. Iron Hauler 7. Carrying a weirdly small amount of Holmanite core fragments. Just like the problem that we had with the... Uh... This is exactly like the problem that we had with the, um... Imosite Cave core fragments. It came back with less than a full load. Stolen bots. And it didn't have a destination plugged in. Did it, like, launch before it finished unloading? Also... We're going to end up with some broken Logibots as I keep making these adjustments because I don't have a mechanism in place to take excess Logibots out of the system here. I guess they're going to end up finding their way back here unless we've got no construction bots, which we do. It's like they dock, leave half their stuff, then jump back to orbit. Yeah. But not very often, because we've been watching them, and it seems to work whenever our eyes are on. Hmm. Who's inbound to Hagen and closest? Unknown asteroid belt. Destination Hagen Orbit. It's at verb T. This one won't take long. It's already full. It's already got its adjustment plugged in. Why isn't it launching? Because... I don't know. We don't wait for the bots to stop moving. Because we made, we we arranged it with multiple robot networks so that they. Oh no, there it goes. Okay. Um, it does have the adjustment to landing destination plugged in. I don't think we're having a problem where they leave the outpost without that on the memory cell. I think what's happening. 
is they come back to Hagen Orbit, they drop off, and then for some reason they launch, like... Well, I wanted to say a second later, but, like, they're nearly empty when they do. Oh, I think I... I think I realized something. Okay, so... That shouldn't be possible. So when bots are moving around with stuff, unfortunately, this is very annoying, and I nev I've never found a use for it, they report a negative number for the, for the thing that they're carrying around. Um, so hence... Uh, well, we're, we're indirectly reading the amount of iridite core fragments that are on the ship. We wait until that's zero. And you'd think maybe if there's a little bit left on the ship and the bots are reporting negative numbers, that this could say zero for a moment sometimes. But the thing is, we're also waiting for logistic bots available to equal total logistic bots. So even if they're just hovering, it shouldn't be able to report falsely that the ship is ready to launch before it's finished unloading. I think I heard some spaceship clappage. That was our chimera. Or was it? No, it would have been one that's landing. Here we go. Output signal's green. Oh, we have unloaded it. I thought I saw some stuff here. I was trying to catch it reporting green falsely. Maybe I should do a longer countdown. Five seconds should be plenty. That's an and and not an or check between the Logibots being finished, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Core Fragment Holmanite equals zero, in other words, Core Fragment Holmanite is detected in the robot network, requester chests don't count, um, and there's no other like storage for them. If that equals zero, green signal one. If robots have stopped moving, uh, if, if all Logibots are available, uh, green signal one. If antimatter fuel is enough, green signal two, because we've got both wires outputting. Uh, and if ion stream is enough, green signal one. If water is enough, green signal one. And then we say if green signal equals four, uh, spaceship is ready. And then it should take a few seconds, uh, even if we receive something from Central immediately, which we do. It'll still take a few seconds for the bots to say, oh, in this case, zero. Uh, we got to put some space elevator cables in or something. And sure enough, there's some busted logi bots. That makes me a little sad. So under what rare condition could the spaceship launch while there's a little bit of core fragment left? I haven't seen it ever send a ship back that's less than full. I don't think that's happening. Um... If it came back, like, mostly empty, and it somehow landed while this was still outputting a launch signal? Because it was queuing at the drop-off? Like, if, if it's queuing in orbit right here, waiting for its chance to launch, 
Oh, waiting for his chance to swap in here, right? This thing launches. Maybe this timer is still... No? Let me check how the timer works. Once all conditions have been met to launch the ship, send launch signal. Here is a timer. Um, output spaceship launch input count. Oh, I see. It's... If we've got a destination and stuff, send spaceship launch signal. If all four green signals, then start the spaceship launch timer. If it's greater than 300, output spaceship launch. Um, but I'm pretty sure I checked, and the moment the ship leaves, this gets emptied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If ship just left, signal R, memory cell gets wiped. So that's like, you know, one, two, three, four, five ticks or something. Let's see. Well, it's like one tick after the ship leaves, I think. If red signal is greater than green. So, ship is no longer detected, stop outputting green, one tick. Uh, red is now greater than green, two ticks. Output R to reset this, three ticks. Stop outputting everything, four ticks. Through these, like five or six ticks. It's like one tick out of 60, and it's not random, it's periodic. Uh, if we look at the spaceship's help thing, it tells us something that's a little bit false. Uh, it says, a spaceship console will not accept launch or speed signals until a player has manually... No, that's not it. Um, only checks for changes to the input signal every second. A sustained signal is required for the ship to react. Single tick pulses will not work. That's not quite true. If you send it a single uh, tick pulse on exactly the right tick, it will launch. Um, we tested this. But presumably, presumably all the ships are on the same timer, right? For when the console will check? Maybe not. But, like, if all of this is resolved in, like, 10 ticks, and we're no longer outputting spaceship launch, it should be impossible for a ship to land here and then immediately launch. And then it would s just be stuck up here with, I guess, no destination? Well, it would still have the Hagen Orbit destination, I th think. But it would have had it had its memory cell wiped. Because that's one of the first things that happens when it gets here. So then it wouldn't know uh, where to land. Maybe we should have like a default drop off. Just as a exception catcher. For those things. But then, then we're back to the problem of the whole reason I designed it this way. Um, I didn't want to have like a... A multi drop off that deals with like 18 different types of core fragment. Maybe it's that one time. that one's time window? I don't know. Even if it did behave like that, like I was just describing, um, wouldn't the ship be almost completely full of core fragments still when it gets stuck in Hagen orbit? Is this guy carrying a broken butt? He is. Uh, I need at least some construction bots in each of these out uh, drop-offs. Let's go do that first. I should probably check on bioscience again. So we got, didn't mean to do that many, how about 10? 10 should be far more than enough. Construction bots for each of these. 
Um, and shouldn't shouldn't we end up with like the anything that's not whitelisted should end up here, right? I think the construction bot will take to the requester chest there. Where's our broken bot? Or did we already get rid of it somehow? Uh, I'm not going to be able to see if this is going to work the way I think it does. Okay. Let's just double check. Ten bots. Ten bots. Ten bots. Ten bots. Ten bots. Fantastic. Hi all, Twisty P. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Funny mistake in my ship logic when ship docked, it immediately launched and docked again. And it did until it ran out of fuel. Yeah, that's surprisingly common. Remember that time I accidentally uh, linked three ships together really rapidly? Random thought, is there potentially a rogue green signal coming through the transmitter? I don't think we send any green signals through the transmitter. Ever. Um, I've, I've like, moused over these memory cells a number of times to check. And I don't think... I don't think it ever does have a green signal. It should receive from... Not post... Uh, everything, green signal, good, let's see. I guess it's possible, as far as we know. I, I don't think there's anything that ever puts a green signal onto, like, through here. Probably. This is going to be one of those really difficult to diagnose bugs. So now it's going to go get more Vitamalange. There was one other with a different core fragment. If it did have a green signal here, um, would it even get there to get checked? Anything greater than zero up at spaceship launch if green signal output each input count. I don't think a green signal here would be able to find its way over here. Even if that did happen. I forgot to check as well, um, but judging by the fact that their memory cells were clear, yeah, see, the memory cell gets put in here when we're ready to go... when we're starting the countdown. I... don't think the ships that I manually picked up from here that had nothing on the memory cell... Um, would have been on the counter that keeps track of how many ships are going where. Speaking of which, we obviously have a lot more ships on the move now than we did before. Alright, well, we'll just have to keep an eye on it. We'll check back in later and see what's happening. Uh, presumably, in fact, I'm sure we've stopped making scrubbers. We've still got some extract. Whoops. We should still have... Uh, fertilizer up here. 
where are we going next? We are going to pick up uh, purple stuff. And this one just got assigned. And away it goes. Next is going to be... Barrel. Plastic. Something to do with Imacite's timing window or something? Uh, it wasn't just Imacite. I thought it was just Imacite for a while, but we actually found one... Uh, I forget if it was Iridium or Beryl, where the same thing had happened. So it's not unique to any outpost or type of drop-off or destination or anything. Best I can tell. What are we missing up here? Uh, everything but coal? Anything else we need for uh, bioscience? What have we got here? 148. We're more than halfway there. It's about time. I'm beginning to wonder if it wouldn't have been easier to just not do the spaghetti first. But I really, really, really want those tier 2 chemical plants. But yeah, like the amount of time it's taking, as it turns out, uh, I probably just should have done a bigger temp build with regular chemical plants. Oh well. But it's not just bio, it's also... Our updated pulmonite that I want the advanced chemical plants for. So we did start preparing um, our next outpost. That's something at least. This will take a while. But I don't think our resource shortage has been because of a limit of um, outposts or processing. I think it's because our spaceships got confused. This is more content though, indeed. Content factory go burr. Well, that's actually a little faster than I was expecting. already put in the glass. And go. Seven times four, 28. Nowhere near enough. Actually, we're getting there. Three hundred and thirty-eight bioscience pack twos we need. We're about two thirds of the way there. Have you thought about playing slash streaming KSP two at some point? I suppose I could. Uh, you know, I mean, I haven't thought about it to be honest, but I think that's a great idea because if it's finally good, great. I mean, I wouldn't blame, uh, for example, Tumbling Satellite to still be bitter about it. I certainly would be as well. But, you know, if it turns out to be good, fine. If it turns out to be bad, that's still a kind of content, isn't it? Um, we have no extract. 
Shout out Tumbling. Good call, Valdak. Tumbling... Okay, I'm bad at this, for one thing, but even if I did know as much as Tumbling does uh, about all the delays and stuff with KSP2, I certainly wouldn't be as good at rattling it off off the top of my head. Very bad at that particular skill. Why do we have literally no extract here? Uh, maybe, maybe we prioritize extract for now. That might be a good idea. Perhaps. We haven't got rid of the light oil. Wait, what? Oh no. That's why it's broken. Wait, is it why it's broken? There's like a hundred here, but... Yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. So light oil isn't connected to this, and it's been accumulating so slowly that I didn't notice there was anything wrong, because the pipes uh, the pipes can hold 100 each. Still won't work with the vanilla train hogging the station. Uh, yeah, I did go over that before. It is a bit of a concern, but the fluids are so slow. Um, that I think we probably won't have to change it. Maybe. If we do, uh, we've got room for fluid pickup here, fluid pickup here. So I'm not too worried about it. Got a lot more methane. Anyway, let's grab our construction train. Park it here, wait for inactivity, and we're not picking anything up, so I don't think we have to empty after that. And we literally just need one underground pipe. Underground into nothing? Top right pipes broken as well. Oh, this one? That's... When we get rid of the temporary chemical plants, that's going to be in the right place. It's a fine. So, that's not good. We now have, like, zero extract. Um, how fast? Assuming this goes full speed all the time. A minute? Less than one stack. Uh, 8.29 thousand per hour. So that's like over two hours for a train load. Not good right now. In fact, one could argue very bad. Oh, especially doesn't help that the, uh, you know, I probably should have done something about this sooner. It definitely doesn't help if we're not covered by beacons. Because the buildings are supposed to be bigger. But, I don't know, I thought we were bottlenecked on... Do I really not have efficiencies? No, I... I think I no. just ran it. No, I have them, I have them. Um... Minus 80% power consumption, still minus 80%, minus 60, fantastic. Okay, that'll be a little bit faster. I don't know if we'll still bottleneck on this stuff, on Bloom. Uh, somehow I don't think so. We've already got all the machines more or less saturated after all. Actually, no, Bloom would help. Uh, can we trigger an early delivery of Bloom? Fantastic. And 
and how many seconds until our train gets here? Probably like 10. What's that that hasn't been built? Oh, it's stuff I'm trying to decon. Um, let's grab our construction train. No, let's grab our decon train. Who is still here because I completely forgot about him. Oh, no. Uh, pretty sure that one's going to need manual support. Just because of the shape of the rail over here. On second thought, uh, I could just get rid of all this extra rail here at the moment, which means if I remove these signals, we'd still be in trouble, actually, once we get up here. I'd have to make like a separate bit of rail. Just to get this thing where it's going. Well, we can definitely... Definitely mark all of this for decon. And just drive up this way. Decon train never gets the attention it deserves. This is true. I'm sorry. Up we go. Oh, and we're here. All right, let's very carefully ease the train. I'm scared. Uh, let's very carefully find a way to get back onto the left side. Fantastic. And you can go home. And I'll just mark all of this for decon. Not going to decon the rail you're on. Uh, I might do. Why did we cliff explode that? Soon it will unionize and go on strike. Fair enough. Maybe if it's successful, it'll prevent a horrible chemical spill. All right. Um, there was a stone mine here that's not there anymore. How's our extract doing now? A little better. Okay, a lot better. It, we already went through all the bloom that I dropped off? Damn. Oh, I think the train didn't pick it all up. Maybe. Judging by how long that's taking to fill. Okay. We're a little desperate to get just a bit more extract to get our science done. I don't... Where, where the hell am I going? Too far. That's where. Is this empty? It totally is. Um, how about this? Provide threshold one. This was this was made before we automated these things. Should be a train on the way. Fantastic. I'm not going to pick up that radioactive stuff, obviously. And provide threshold one. Fantastic. Why is there a train sitting next to Bloom Pickup? Sitting next to Bloom Pickup. Uh, it was probably dropping off sand. 
which still takes more than two milliseconds because it's a stack size of 200. Once the trains have come, oh, let's uh, let's urgently provide this sulfuric acid. Provide threshold 50 back into the rail network. And maybe... Maybe I should make a storage for sulfuric acid just because of this. Nah, we'll be phasing out these finite mines. Um, I could request more sulfuric acid here. Is that gonna do it? Where are you, where are you going? Oh no. Oh no, I think it's going to multiple places for it. That might be a little bit over the top. Well, as long as there's a storage room for it, I'm sure it's fine. Nope. What do you mean, nope? It's totally fine. How could it not be? And you left a surprisingly large amount of sulfuric acid in here, but whatever. I'll just delete it. Um, did we get rid of this? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Cleaning up the old mines, which I didn't even intend to do. I just kind of randomly flew over here. But since we're here, nice, tidy planet. Or at least we can make 10% of a fraction of a start. What the hell? Why is there still 10 uranium here? Book deconstruction train misses out more. <laughs> oh, boosh. Oh, no. But decon train was just going hungry. It's, it's probably fine. This still hurts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be too easy. Um, nope. I'm in an awkward position here. Where's the nearest drop-off that goes back to the mall or something? By the time I figure it out, I probably could have flown this back where it belongs. I'm also almost out of fuel. Taking out gerbs, indeed. Empty now. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oop. And I should probably... drop off some stuff here. You know what wouldn't get hurt by the uranium? Construction tree. <laughs> You don't say. Uh, I don't want to drop that. Alright. Where were we? Oh yeah, extract. That's still not a whole lot of extract. How much are we making? Oops. Approximately 360 a minute if we're optimistic. So less than two stacks. Or fragment pulmonite. We know where that goes. Let me just, while I'm doing this, grab a bunch of random Holmanite core fragments. Drop them off over here. Did you research a higher prod module yesterday, and will you use it? I think I'll wait till I get to tier 6 before I bother. Uh, 
because it's a hassle replacing uh, modules. Okay. I think we're probably back to bottlenecking on core fragment processing. Consumption. Uh, barrel is looking a bit more unpredictable, but the others are looking pretty smooth, I guess. I still haven't updated to spaceships for Vulcanite, actually. I kind of forgot Vulcanite was a thing. We haven't had trouble with it for quite a long time, but... We're gonna run out of... oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna run out of this crude oil eventually. That one's looking pretty dry. Oh, not that quickly, actually. Vulcanite doesn't exist, prove me wrong. Uh, uh well, you can't... I was... no, I was gonna say you can't prove a negative, but we don't need to. Alright, um... Vitamelange. I want those advanced chemical plants. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'd be happy to be patient with my... Well, relatively patient with my bioscience builds if I had the advanced chemical plants. Alright, let's just go up the space elevator with this paltry amount of extract. Actually, you know what? There's so little, I could just pick it up. Why don't I just do that? Don't waste the space elevator cables. What, you're going to upgrade blue chips while waiting for bioscience? Uh, I didn't say while waiting for bioscience, but we could definitely do that. But I want to set it, enough of it in motion that we're going to get... Um, enough bioscience to get the chemical plants first. What have we got? 208. And it's pretty much just scrubbers, right? We've got 1.4k extract here, which I think is probably relatively quite a lot for everything but this. Look at it go. Consuming, I want to say like 12 per second. 11.2 per second, that is pretty close. So it'll be gone in... Uh, 190 seconds, 3 minutes. And pretty much all of that is going to turn into bioscrubbers. Uh, I guess we could definitely make a start on... A blue circuit build. While we wait for that. I'm not going to remember this is here later on if I go ste try to steal this layout again. So let's just throw this block instead. There we go. And we want advanced assembly machines, which were shockingly easy to get, which makes the difficulty of getting um, advanced chemical plants all the more, uh, sting all the more. We're looking for processing unit and we definitely want to use the holmium cable for that. Did I not do a build for this already? Um, let me just check. Uh, product. Processing unit. It should find either 
Nope, this is everything. Okay. Well, I think we can probably afford to use the Holmium cables this time. I could do a build that uses, uh, like we did before. I could use crafting combinators. Um, where is it? Like we did here, to check if the extra resources here and swap recipes based on that. And considering the considering the size of considering the size of the machines, that might actually be super easy. Let's see. Inputs are exactly the same, except if we add Holmium cable. Outputs are exactly the same. Um, why did we need the sushi? over here, or whatever it is. Oh, right, because when it swaps the recipe, if there are vulcanite blocks in here, it'll it'll end up going into the output container, which we're going to need to recycle. That's the only problem. Should I copy this layout? I could. We only need two belts of input, right? Um, it's quite a slow recipe. So we could just do three half belts. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Holmium cable is actually the most common input for this. I'm pretty sure that's significantly different from... from SE.5 without K2. So we're going to need a lot more Holmium to make a decent amount of processing units with this. Is it worth it? We're having a much, 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 much easier time with our regular resources this playthrough. Well, I could always set it up so that we can do either, or both. Um, I've, I've set up the crafting combinators to only refresh every, like, 33 seconds or something. So, UPS cost is definitely going to be negligible. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, first things first. We're going to build it around a beacon. We're going to need, I think... If we can make the most of a beacon, because blue circuits are quite slow. I could either do squiggly output... Um, can I do squiggly output and... Pipes, I don't think so. In fact, I'm sure I can't. What if those alternated? It would have to be here, it would have to be here, and this would be up here. That actually works. Alright. Um, let's see. So it's going to be one belt like this. Let me just do it this way first. I don't want it to do it the other way around. Two, four, six, eight. And like that. 
underground belts like so. Underground belts like oh, like so. Pipe connections. Uh, we could actually do it any way we want. Because it's not like we're doing a squiggly belt. We're doing two straight belts. I think most of your UPS is in your city block style trains, most likely. Uh, I don't necessarily think so. Um, you'd be surprised. Trains are at 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Entity update is 5.3. Entity update is like half of it. Electric network is 2.4. significantly more than the trains. Although that might change when we've actually got everything going at full speed. Because we don't need that much train traffic right now. Laser turret consume a lot of UPS? Really? Is it that much better to use uh, energy shields? Entity is only biters? Uh, well, entity is a word that in game programming uh, it means like almost anything. Like this is an entity, my player character is an entity, this is an entity. Um, so it, it depends on the way the devs defined it, more or less. Uh, we do have some extract up here. I'm just going to grab basically all of it. And hope that this pushes it out, pushes us over the finish line. All right. So we're going to have some pipes. I actually do those last. And then same thing on the opposite side. Let's check our rate here. So we're going to have mostly efficiencies. And then however many speed modules it takes to get negative 80% or close to it. Negative 70 is good. What's our rate for each column? Significantly less than half a belt except for 32 holmium cable. So we could just do a purple belt for that, I guess. Well, no. We could probably do it with blue belts. Um, so let's see. Superior inserter, because why not? Probably because we don't need it for the slow stuff. It's four holmium cable per second, though. And I'd rather it look a bit uniform. That actually lines up very well. And... On the opposite side... And then that's gonna look a little bit tacky. Wait, I don't think we need a splitter for this, do we? That should look fine. They should still be pretty slow. Less than one blue belt. For 128 uh, holmium cable per second. I 
If you replace all laser turret to energy shield, I think it's about the same. Okay. Noxyway Gaming, Glacier Wolf, Mr. JJ. Budgie Bomb, if I didn't see you before. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Captain True as well. Um, so it's only three physical inputs, which means we can do it this way. But first... Um, we'll put the infinity chest here. Super inserter, set filters, blacklist. Uh, whoops. And then shift right click, shift left. That'll put just a little bit of each resource into the container, provided we don't run out of filters. Sulfuric acid. Um, I think we'll do something like this. Nice and easy. Oops. Basically just going to build it as if we're doing Holmium Cable. Uh, and then I just realized there's going to be a problem. Hmm. Okay. Wait, is that okay? I'm going to have to do the same thing I did with the other build. Whereby... When the uh, crafting combinator, when the recipe changes, if we have Holmium Cable here, it can find its way back to the start. Or just in this chest, actually. That's probably fine. Since we're not using it for output. Alright, let's test it. Let's test this idea. I'm going to do crafting combinator. Um, it's going to have to be close to these chests, because we have to set them, like, behind left tile is overflow chest. Uh, we're going to write, don't discard fluids. Oh, it just changed recipe to nothing, that's why this disappeared. Empty insert as hands. Wait for output to clear? Uh, yes. Definitely wait for output to clear. I think... I think that will prevent blue circuits from finding their way in here when the recipe changes. Seepercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Soulburn, good to see you again. Streaming Rimworld, fantastic. Sephonated, good to see you again. Also, how's your stream? We came to scratch your sofas, fantastic. Oh. The only trouble with this is I can't control three different inputs. From two belts. Unless I do filter inserter and then it's gonna look weird. Is it gonna look that weird though? If we do set filters blacklist. Uh, all of these individually don't consume very quickly, right? No. Not... Well... Hmm, this could be a problem. Just because we need three solids for this second build. I 
How should I go about it? Or I could just not use crafting combinators and do it in the most straightforward manner possible. For a change. Crafting combinator, indeed. It lets us change recipes on an assembly machine, for example. Hmm. Overflow chest... This isn't going to work, is it? Like, it has to literally be a chest. It, it can't output to a belt, right? Let's do a constant combinator. You know what? I wouldn't be that surprised. If it just drops an item onto th this tile, and it would work if it's a belt. Okay, so we're going to go recipe... Well, first of all, processing unit, um, and a recipe processing unit. Um, it seems like the recipe processing unit might be a high priority. So we're going to go overflow chest position left. Don't discard fluids. Empty insert his hands. Uh, doesn't that mean... Input items could end up on the output? Possibly. Alright, but I want to try this. We're just going to put a infinity chest here, give it whatever it wants, and then switch recipe. And I'm hoping... I, I'm very curious to find out if it's going to dump resources onto this tile. Even though there isn't a chest there. No overflow chest. Okay. Is it only going to try again in like 30 seconds because I've got the update set that low? Possibly. Hayaku. Rouse, Rouse. There it goes. Yeah, it does have to be a chest. Well, in that case... We've got like three more tiles of width. Maybe there's a way to make this work. Hmm... You know what? I, I think I know... I think I know the answer. I think this calls for sushi. Could keep the old setup as a backup? Uh, maybe, yeah. But let's see what the max rate is for this whole thing. 120 cable per second. Um... Yay, indeed. I don't think we can do it with one sushi belt. What if we did two, at least? Uh, 64 plus 16 plus 24 per second is still more than one belt. So we'd have to do... We'd have to do a sushi belt for each um, column. That's kind of a lot. That is kind of a lot. What if we did sushi for everything but Holmium Cable? 
Um, did I right calc the whole thing? Yes. 31.25 plus 47.5 equals less than one belt. I mean, I've already got the room for a dedicated Holmium cable belt. I think that is with purple? Yes, yes, purple. Purple belt. If I'm doing a dedicated belt for Holmium cable, we can just do half belts for these two. There's no need for sushi, that doesn't solve anything. The problem is, well, I could probably just stop doing my cute little compact uh, output here. Yeah, 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 I think I've got it. We stretch this out. To probably just be normal output. Um, maybe another tile would be convenient. And then move all of this over one tile at least. Well, at most, actually. I don't think we have as much room as I would like, but we can still get away with it, just barely. So what I have in mind is outputs go here. Then we'll do crafting company tour like so. Um, we're going to be emptying in sort of hands. Don't discard fluids. Wait for output to clear. Seems good, actually. Doesn't that mean that we're never going to accidentally put inputs in here? Maybe, maybe not. Wait for output to clear. Empty inside his hands. Uh, overflow chest behind left. Overflow chest behind right. Copy. Well, first of all. Connect those. Copy like so. I don't want to copy them over each other because we'll probably end up with like extra entities because crafting combinators can be a little bit weird that way. Um, and then of course we're gonna output everything we're supposed to output down this way, which is to say processing units. Oops. And everything else, which I imagine is only going to be Holmium cable, but uh, where is it? Holmium cable, advanced circuit, rare metals. Because we can't blacklist. Holmium cable, advanced circuit, rare metals. If they end up in the output chest. I'm gonna go back this way. and find their way back up here. Are you building a map? Uh, nope, I'm just using an editor space to easily design, that's all. 
So that's going to go like this. And we should probably have... No, this is an output, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to have three shared solid resources. Uh, we can definitely fit that with a train drop-off. But considering the sushi, it might be easier... If we have a, like, central chest. I haven't done one like this in a while. Yeah, I'm kind of expecting some of these to get a little bit imbalanced, so we should probably merge and split. Why are we using space belt? Get out of here. I suppose I could use a delivery cannon chest, but we need to control the inputs. Um... Red wire, like so. Green wire, like so. And we're gonna say... Chromium cable, advanced circuit, rare metals. Chromium cable, advanced circuit. Metals rare. Fantastic. And then... Uh, I think they have different stack sizes. 50, 200, 100. Every stack size under the sun. So the thing that we need the most of has the smallest stack size. That's nice. Wait, no, the other thing. We'll probably ask for, like, a bit extra for the trains. Um, could I set these recipes so that we can do rate couch? We're going to assume... Chromium cable recipe. And uh, if Holmium cable is less than what? Let's just do uh, like 80 stacks. 4,000? Eight thousand and sixteen thousand. Eight thousand for red metals, sixteen thousand uh, for advanced circuits, which is quite a lot actually. Do some cheat inputs. Set filters blacklist. And go. Those are all red circuits. What happened? Oh, I see what happened. I did that again. And then rare metals goes here. And it should stop putting in... Well, no, it won't, because it has to reach its maximum. It's not like it's trying to balance them. Alright, we have... Uh, 600 plus... Let's call it 800 stacks. Um, 
We could easily go two train loads for each resource. I think that is fine. Should ensure the cables flow, assuming we have them. Sulfuric acid. 100k. Chromium cable. 50, 100 times 2. Uh, advanced circuit, rare metals. We probably don't have to go as ham with the other two. 48 out of 200 per second. Um, we've got 416 seconds to replace our... Advanced circuits if we're down to one train load. So I could just add like 10 or 20 percent. Four K? Yeah, four K should be fine. 83 seconds to replace before it runs out. Um, rare metals? Should be about the same, right? Even slower, but the stack size is half. Um, 10k divided by 32. 312 seconds. So if we have like, uh, what am I trying to figure out? How about 80 times 2? 25 stacks. If we have like 2,000... Wait, how did I get that number? 32 per second times 80 seconds. Uh, 2,500 is about how much rare metal we'd go through in that time. So we'll request like 13k. Should have plenty of time to replace it. Alright, now, now crafting combinator sets uh, settings seem to work. Let's stop giving it holmium cable. And I want to see what happens. Output won't be a problem. Very, very easy. Limit this to one cargo wagon each. Filter to output. Alright, we just need to link up the recycled input back to here. Oh, I forgot the minor detail where we need to... Oh, crap. I don't think I have room, actually. What if I do just two outputs? 24 per second um, is less than half a belt. Yeah, that should be fine. I think. Wait, what's the whole thing? Uh, 48 per second. Slightly more than half of the fastest belt for advanced circuits. So we would need to do that at least twice. So we're going to want... Advanced circuits on one half. Rare metals on the other half. Holmium cable elsewhere. Like here, perhaps. And how much holmium cable do we need? 128. In other words, two purple belts. 
What if I did it like this? Purple belt. Purple belt. Wait, where's my belt gone? And purple belt. It looks like you have three or four tiles you can move the build down. Oh, that's true. Let's upgrade this. And I guess that can go back in there. There's no need to, though. This on the other side for the symmetry, if I can help it. Bring this over here. And that is supplying the whole thing with two belts of Holmium cable. Okay. Um, we then need... At least two of these split thingies. Uh, but where to put them? What if I put this over here? Would that be any better? I don't think so. If I put this here and put this here... Well, how much does this cost? Slightly less than a half belt of advanced circuits. It's not the most symmetrical thing I've ever built, but it works. Oh, wait. I don't like this, actually. And then... Like that. Should work. It's a little unusual, but it's pretty neat. I like it. I might have to make a little exception here, though. Wait, what if I... No, that, that doesn't help. Because we need room for this to come back in. Oh, I think I have an idea, actually. About how that can work. Alright, let's give it a try. Um, why isn't it working now? Because we don't have sulfuric acid. Because I didn't even consider where that's going to fit, actually. Distant underground on the bottom right? Oh, true. Where are we going to fit our... Sulfuric acid. I'm pretty sure the crafting combinators kind of have to be there, so... Probably on the input side. Shouldn't be too difficult on this end. Uh, I'll obviously... Yeah, I'll have to do this... With long arms. In a way, that's kind of neater. Uh, 
Oh, don't tell me. It's going to be picking up from the pylon substation. What if we swap them? That might end up being a lot tidier. Is that backward or is... no, that's right. And then... This needs to go here. Or does it though? Yeah, it kind of does. Alright. That's actually starting to look pretty good. Might have to do the same. Oh. Oh. And we make it work in the middle. Do we need to make it work like that in the middle? The answer is yes. Hmm. So obviously, on the outside, we can just do our sulfuric acid this way. It actually works dragging it like that. Um, in the middle... Wait, do I want to swap these inserters as well. Be a bit more consistent. Kind of like that. Constant combinator won't need to be there, of course. Alright, so obviously enough. Fluid input would have to be on this side. I could do it from both sides. Can we still fit? Oh, no, we can't. We can only do one inserter here. Mm. Thanks, I hate it. Why wide area beacons gotta be so big? This was almost a perfect build. What are we gonna do about that? Uh, can I maybe do the middle ones a bit different? Where would this go? Encroach on the other side? I don't want to do that. Encroach into this space? I don't want to do that. Um, we could do some pipe like this and use undergrounds here. Okay, this might be salvageable. In fact, I think it will be. That barely reaches. We could have used steel under underground pipes if necessary. But still. Like here. Yeah, I think I will maybe do that. No, let's leave it like that. So we're going to have uh, our underground pipes like this. Oh, we do still need to connect these. Oh, no, that's easy. Because that's going to reach over there. Missed it. And hey, it's showing how that works. Cool. And 
fantastic. Lines up pretty well. I need to make sure this is these are all facing the right way. It should remember even as even if it loses a recipe that has fluid. All right, so that one can go straight up here. This one might have to get a little bit more creative. I could do pipes here. I don't love that, but it works. Alternatively, this could go up here. I don't love that, but it works. I probably like the first one better. Doesn't really work on this side. What is this doing? And this. You know, if we're gonna do that that way, nah, never mind. Alright. So now what we need to do is detect whether or not there's Holmium cable in here and change the recipe accordingly. I think, fortunately, if we give it a signal of processing unit and also a signal of um, recipe processing unit, uh, I think we saw earlier that it prioritized the recipe processing unit signal, the one that has Holmium cable. So, we can just feed it both signals, or we can feed it the processing unit signal unconditionally and use one decider combinator to say, um, if Holmium cable greater than zero, output uh, recipe processing unit. And we're just going to check this big container, or all of those containers, that's fine. Is it normal for Steam Cloud to take 5 to 10 minutes to back up a Factorio save with SE? Uh, I don't know about Steam Cloud, but my save got above half a gig last time. So maybe. <laughs> Depends on your connection. And depends on how much bandwidth Steam is going to give to that. Meloxyl, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I think that's it. So it should set all of these to default processing unit recipe in about 20 seconds. Based on your upload speed naturally, indeed. Um, is it going to tick over or what? There we go. And it did indeed remember where all of the pipe connections go. Nice. And then if we give it Holmium cables again... Wait, this is still in the wrong recipe. How is it still in the wrong recipe? Empty inserter's hand? Oh, there's no inserter. Um, also, I'm realizing this one doesn't have room for both inputs. 
Also, why is this cable not connected? That's why. I hope we can still make it work. I could move all this down like a tile. I hope I don't have to. Not that that would be a tragedy. So we're going to have... Like this. Then basically whatever we want on this side. Let's mirror that up here. Yeah, I need to move this down like two tiles. Unfortunate. If I used a 3x3 chest, we'd have a lot less storage space. Um, and also, we'd be one tile short for where I need to fit this. Actually, no, we could move it down one tile, because I could do the short one on this side. So if the short one's on this side, that means it goes here. And I don't know what that implies for everything else. Let's move it all down one tile. And be ever so slightly sad about our perfect symmetry. Is that still going to reach? Yes. Yes, it is. Good enough. Does this still reach? It do. Oh. You're kidding. Uh... You know what I forgot? Uh, why are my undo levels not... There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I forgot undo levels don't work on these things. Oh, no. That's not right. Gazownik, good to see you again. Well, I'm welcome. Hope you're doing well. And it turns out we don't need this one is the thing that I forgot. Whoopsie daisy. I think I'd take that little bit of asymmetry over the other bit of asymmetry. So these are going to swap. How do we do this on the other side? Like that. And then... Like that. And these two... Oh, right. Yeah, that goes there. I can live with that. Now, why is this not working? Holmium cable... Oh, because we don't... Wait, why are you still trying to make it with Holmium cable? Two times processing unit. 
We're not outputting the Holmium cable recipe right now. Only the processing unit one. No overflow chest? Is it because I used pick dollies? It doesn't understand. Uh, I think I'd better just remove these. There might be some weird entities there still. We'll start over with the crafting combinators, because I think we've confused them. I don't think they play well with Piccadollies. Alright, so behind left. Don't discard fluids. Empty inside his hands. That seems fine. And behind right. And next like so. Behind left. Behind right. And I won't even copy paste. I'll do the same thing on the other side to be absolutely sure. I think you have no cable connecting there. Uh, not yet, no. Probably. Alright. So behind left goes here. Behind right. That seems good. Connect with wire. And we should have them all doing the regular processing unit recipe. Except this one for some reason. I hope it's just waiting until it updates. Yeah, it should be setting it to processing unit. Wait, is it because I said... Uh, Wait for output to clear, no? Wait, did I just see text float? Why did text float? Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Did we see text float from the crafting combinator a moment ago? No? Why is it just this? Oh, no overflow chest. What do you call that? I think it just needs the rotate treatment. If you don't discard fluid, where does it go? Uh, back into the container. Well, also, we're switching recipes between two recipes that use sulfuric acid, so it should be fine. So this time it should actually switch recipe. No overflow chest, there's more of them. Yeah. I don't know why, but this is a bug I've seen before. Rotating it seems to Tell it where things should go. It does some kind of turning it off and on thing. I heard they fixed a rather important satellite with that recently. Was it the James Webb a bit got flipped or something? 
And the solution they came up with was... Reboot? Oh, I don't see Holmium Cable here. Yeah, I think that worked. I think that worked. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to put Holmium Cable in. Uh, whoops, I forgot. Shift right click, shift left won't give us Holmium Cable right now. So now we have Holmium Cable. Oh, it's kind of flickering at the moment. But once it saturates, at least. So it stays in this container. Uh, as long as this thing detects Holmium Cable on the right tick, all of those should switch over to use that recipe. Wouldn't it be better if all the belts were purple? Um, it would just be needlessly expensive. Remove the underground pipe that's not connected. Oh, the one I did remove? Yes. Middle crafter aren't getting acid, missing two pipes? Oh, true, thank you. Do I need two deciders? I thought I had it set up so that well, no, I thought I tested it and found that if we feed them both, uh, both signals, it would pick processing unit. But if that's not actually how it works, then we just need one more decider combinator. Right bank not producing? Is it not? Oh, is in this side? Because it's got no advanced circuits. Because... Because why? Oh, because it's 22.5 advanced circuits? And it needs 60. What? How did I miscalculate that so much? Uh, if it needs 60... Yeah, 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 this does actually need to be purple. Oops. Don't I have an upgrade planner for this? I do. I think it'll probably consume less advanced circuit uh, once it's actually on the correct recipe. Uh, but yeah, it seems like what we need to do here is actually use a decider combinator. So we're no longer going to be outputting the signal for... Yeah, that does seem to work. What the hell? We're no longer going to be outputting the signal for regular blue circuit recipe, and it's working. Fantastic. Alright, so I want to drain it of Holmium Cable. Uh, and confirm that, like, whatever random stuff ends up in this chest that isn't blue circuit is just going to end up back in this container once the recipe changes. Once the recipe changes... This is the only trouble with setting it to only update every, like, 33 seconds. And... Oh, it may have... It may be a little while longer, because there was probably still cable here for a minute. Also, we obviously don't need this belt. And it switches back, and everything that's not blue circuits from the output 
finds its way back up here. Fantastic. Time to build my 126k per minute green chip line. Indeed. Seems good. How many blue circuits are we getting? 35 per second. And with Holmium Cable, it was like... I think it was 45 per second, almost. Also, let's check. 80 advanced circuits per second. That's kind of rough. No overflow chest? What the hell are you talking about? What is this? Now I have to wait and see if it changes. Uh, before we do, or rather, while we do, let's grab these scrubbers. What are we, what are we out of here? Oh. This kind of stuff. What? No, 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 don't take it. Don't take it. Don't throw it in the trash. How, f how much further will these scrubbers get us, I wonder? Not that far. But we're getting close. Oh my goodness. Oh right, I remember. That's not actually because this messed up. It's because I switched from editor. It's still... I thought I got rid of the Holmium cable here. Oh no, I wanted to check the rate. 48 advanced circuits per second. It is indeed slower this way. Cool, cool, cool. And we get 42.2 processing units. Nice. That all seems to be working. Ditch the whole meme cable, come back in a few minutes and see how it looks. Now then. What are we short on? Extract. Uh, there's none in space. We've got half a train load. Sure, that's fine for now. Center left top not working? You mean for this thing? Looks like it's working. Yeah, they're working. Oh, this one? It's missing red circuits. Uh, do I need to recalculate? 40 red circuits per second. And this should be 45. Oh, it's these three. Uh, and that's 60 per second, so that's actually a problem. But I can't really fit any more. I could just leave it as it is. I mean, it's just supposed to be a... No, I don't like that. I do not like that. But how can I get more red circuits over there? Uh, we could go full spaghetti. Wait, we don't even have room here to do that. Oh no. On second thought? We could just merge this over here. Worst idea. Oh, 
Now, is that or is it not spaghetti? I don't know. Give in to the spaghetti. Your spaghetti has made you powerful. That should do it. So we've got uh, 90 red circuits per second that should be able to get this to the end of the belt. We're, we've got 10 spare belt throughput there. Upgrade the inputs to the chest. Uh, this one? I don't think that's needed. Oh, is it? Hold on. 80 red circuits per second. This is fine. Um, and that's the fastest thing. So no, we don't need to do that. RV Park. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just about to do a massive upgrade to my old little circuit plant in SE. I decided I wanted a centralized place for them. I thought it would be fun to have dedicated places for stuff. Definitely makes it easier to manage. Oh hey, our output is full. Um, not for long, it's not. Alright, come back to this in a few minutes. Now then. Am I stuck here? No, we're good. Uh, we have ourselves some extract. Let's go grab it. Uh, wait for inactivity and go. You are outputting with purple belts? What do you mean? Yeah, but the total that's needed um, is like one purple belt for each resource. And we've got two blues, which is the same thing, going into the big chest. The reason we need purples, um, particularly for the advanced circuits, is because we're doing half belts. Why not start the research? I want to do it all in one go. I just, I just want to. Oh, uh, I forgot. We probably want most of the extract up here. Almost all of it, in fact. Once more with feeling. Fantastic. I'll drop off a little bit here just to make sure we've got some. And what do we got? Another 56. Oh, 130 bio scrub airs. Fantastic. That might actually. Uh, not even get us close. My kid, we're pretty close. Do that math one more time. 1 over 1.48 because prod modules uh, times 500, which is how much science we need. 338. We need six more, two more recipes. 19 more scrubbers. Let's go. I believe that is at least 19 scrubbers. Fantastic. We did it. It is done. 
How long do you think this will take? Five minutes? Oops. We're consuming 0.77 per second. So it's like 1% per second, I would say. So a bit more than five minutes. We're already at 3%. And I think... Let's see. Uh, Immersium is by far the most advanced thing in there. So we can just tell our... Auto crafter to start making it already. And that's it. We will soon have advanced chemical plants. Let's request them over here as well. Um, I don't think I can just ditch regular chemical plants just yet. Actually, I probably can. Yeah, I don't think I want to make any more builds, or even copy, even being lazy doing a copy-paste. Um, I don't think I want to place any more chemical plants, regular chemical plants. Especially with how bad the stack size is. Advanced chemical plant. Stacks to 20, I think. 50. Okay. In that case... Beautiful. We are 22% of the way through advanced chem plant research. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so, now that we've done our spaghetti bioscience, uh, we have to finish the real thing. Now, I think I figured out I don't really want to do the, uh, what is it called? Genetic data there. Actually, genetic data itself is pretty straightforward. No, we could definitely do a half block um, for the genetic data. Is this the one I think it is? Biochemical data? Uh, yes. Cool, cool, cool. I'll remove all this. Probably keep that. Uh, whatever. Let, let's finish the build first and see what it looks like. Might just not mark all of that for decon just yet. Alright. We need some scaffolding. Keep it limited so we don't lose track of it. That was weird. Uh, and we need... I think we need like two. Um, a very small number of bio... What are they called? Genetic facilities. We'll do like four. I'm sure that'll be overkill. Is there a world where I want to do anything else in this one block? Biochemical data plus genetic data? The two things that we happen to have right here? Maybe I could try to make that work? Um, whatever the case, we'll start with a white bacon. We're going to need some bio sludge. 
This part will be easy enough to design because it's not like we need anything with a super tiny stack size. Okay, speed threes. And how fast would a couple of these be? 27 per second. Yeah, I'll do four and I'm sure from previous experience it's probably going to be way more than we need. And then perhaps, dare I say, we could have genetics facilities here. Maybe even some symmetry. Comparative genetic data doesn't rely on either of these. In fact, I'd better check genetic data goes into anti-creep virus capsule, uh, bioculture, so we do want to export it. Catalog, of course, of course, and experimental genetic it goes into broad, and experimental bioculture, cool, cool, cool. Double? What's the <laughs> dibble data for? Dibble da uh, the double data. Double data. Double data. Double data? You mean these two? Oh, I mean these are gonna be this recipe. Is that what we're asking? Why does only this one have the arrows for the fluid. That's really weird. That's so strange. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. The 2 by one Uh, so we're doing... It just so happens that biochemical and genetic data are the inputs for experimental genetic data, and I was going to do those two in this block regardless. So we're just going to see if we can squeeze this in right here. Bulk rail loader. And uh, we need an output fluid of not genetic data. Contaminated cosmic water, which is here. Should be pretty slow. We can probably just... 500 per second. Okay. Uh, it's still overall like 600 per second. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I think... I think we'll do our... Output fluid this or something? Maybe up here. Something like that. I think it's because these are touching. It's confused. That'll be fine. Actually, I could do it this way. <laughs> Pick a dollies to the rescue. Okay. We're actually turning bio sludge back into contaminated cosmic water. Interesting choice. Hmm. 
Where would be the cleanest spot to put this? Where do I normally put this beacon? Right about there? Move this so it lines up. That could go there, and that could not line up at all. Fantastic. Alternatively... Oh, that's fine. Wait. Oh, I did connect this. Okay, cool. I think I'd rather do the output down the middle like I did over there. I mean, the input. That opposite thing from what I just said. Yeah, 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 because then this fits here. That's actually really clean. That's cool. Something like this. We need two solids at a rate of... Holy crap! <laughs> 272 lithium chloride per second. I think this is going to be overkill. I don't think we're going to need more than this. Um, like ever. So how many belts is that? 200 and... Uh, it's six belts. I think that might be double plus overkill, actually. Especially considering it's a stack size of 50. Maybe we could just go for a couple of these machines. And we'll just, we'll leave plenty of room to expand in case we're somehow wrong about that. Um, so this is only 136 per second. Which is three belts, actually. Hmm. I seriously have my doubts that we need three belts. 27 genetic data per second. And 27 blanks per second. Yeah, no, that's got to be super overkill. Let's just put one machine here. And if we find out we need more, it's not going to be difficult to expand. Good talk. Sort of. Okay. You only have to match the one next to it. Uh, this thing only consumes like 4.5 per second each. And 9.7 genetic data per second. I'm pretty sure that's just going to be way ahead of any other build. We need one per catalog and one per experimental bioculture is the thing. Which means one per... Uh, more than one per experimental biomass. So yeah, uh, we might want to have a little bit in excess here. I meant the other one? Uh, which other one? What? That's a pretty good rate, one to two. I think. Uh, can I bloody flip it? Alright, genetic. Tick. Experimental genetic data. Who are those? And we want... 
We only output one solid from this. We only output one solid from this. Fantastic. And it turns out we will be using an output station up here. So we won't be deconning that one. Convenient. I meant the other one to the left. I, I have no idea what you mean. You only have to match the one next to... Oh, you mean the rate of... Uh, what's it called? I can't see it because this keeps saying materials, biochemical data. Ten point eight per second. Yeah. Depending on ratios, we might need more of these because it goes into multiple things. We shall see. This is our tentative build for now. Alright, so that still wants more than one belt of lithium chloride. Um, I, I guess. You know what? I'm, n I'm not even going to shape it with the assumption that we're going to... doesn't line up very well. I'm not even going to shape it very much with the assumption that we're going to... Can this move over? Yes, perfect. Expand on it. Then again, I may as well, I suppose. Alright, so this is lithium... Fluoride. And this can be... What's it called? Flight data. And we have bio... Bio sludge. Output... It's 13.6 per second. Input goes here. Is that a filter? No. Output can go here. We also need input from this. Now, how am I going to do that? I don't think this reaches across, nor would it help. So I'll have to put some scaffolding here-ish. And why not just put it here? Why not? How fast are these individually? 0.5 per second. Let's use regular stack inserters, if only so that we can see them. And output? 9 per second each. Alright. Now we're gonna have... Output, god damn it. Output station, that's the wrong one. Up here. And so. Unfortunately, doesn't line up the way I would like. Doesn't it normally... I see. Not sure what's going on here, though. Normally be, like, here. I could move it over a couple of tiles.
perhaps. In order to make this look weirder than it already does. Didn't I already make these equidistant? Yeah, I did. That's probably fine. Probably fine. Alright, let's remove the excess scaffolding. With space. And we'll add a little bit back so it doesn't look too tacky. Uh, this still needs to go down here. Like this. I think that looks least messed up. I guess that's more consistent. Auto save. And well, that looks pretty okay, I think. Considering all the empty space. Now, let's test it. Make sure it's actually working. We're going to need bio sludge. And we're going to need two inputs up here. And I forgot to, like, balance this. Or something. Considering how fast it consumes, I do want to drop off a couple of train loads of each. Um, which means more than 400 stacks in the left side if I push it all that way. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna mirror what I did over here. Probably fine. Uh, set filters blacklist. Shift right, shift left. Fantastic. And then we need some bio sludge. And then out comes the genetic data. We're also going to have to put the inputs over here for testing. Wait, what? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Luckily, we have filters. It's fine. And we ended up with only four different things we're dropping off. Lucky. Alright, what goes here? Uh, chemical gel? Fantastic. So we are still slightly positive on biochemical data. Looking good. Perfect. Don't have to worry about a fluid output from here. We already did this one. 
And I guess all that's left now is station names and stuff. This doesn't need to be high priority. Alright, so this is genetic data. Provider. Same thing over here, except it is in fact... Uh, experimental genetic, I believe. Yes. Um, short trains or long trains are fine, because we're limiting this to one cargo wagon each, plus 40 stacks. In the delivery cannon chest. That's it. I don't think I'll prioritize one over the other with this. Whatever saturates first, saturates first. It's looking pretty even, actually. Mm, not that even. It's fine. Alright, cool. Oh, right. No, these two would be even if we started them at the same time. No, they're not. One biochemical, if we ignore genetic data, becomes two experimental data. So it should be double this, which it's not. I think it is, actually. Let's see. 400, 770. Plus what's on the belt. I guess. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, on this belt and on this belt. That does make sense. Alright, uh, requests. We're looking for... Post blank data cards. I'll just do two stacks of each, since they're so fast. Or two train loads, rather. Lithium... Chloride, 10k, blank data, 10k, uh, I don't think we have to worry that much about bio sludge, we'll do the standard 100k, long trains only, Don't forget the green wire up here. And don't forget that green wire. Although I'm sure I've fixed that by now in the actual game. I think that's it. Alright, blueprint. Um, biochemical data plus... Genetic data plus experimental genetic data. Biochemical... How can I mash these words together? Experimental biogenetic... Com no, never mind. Trials, train stop names, snap to grid, 86.25.1. Fantastic. Don't know why there's an add-on power pole. Oh, I think I remember. Yeah. Alright. And snap to grid and rotation. Looks good. Fantastic. Alright. Let's go placing it. We have advanced chemical plants. Literally, not just we've researched it. Now we can finally go and finish those builds. Why? Oh, I think I see. 
screen's all messed up. It's probably fine. Let's go do our new Vitamelange build. And after that... How about this one? Fantastic. Did I switch this on yet? I did not. We're going to be getting Vitamelange, Spice, and Extract a lot more quickly in just a little while. Train number one is almost here. There's five trains on the way. Oh, and this goes straight down here, doesn't it? I should probably uh, make a little direct connection in that case. Let's bring our construction train back when we get time. Sand is it waiting still? There's our water. Two trains waiting with sand. Let's go. Fantastic. And in no time at all, bloom flows like water. Very, very rapidly. Excellent. Has our train finished this yet? It has not. Where is it? Off he goes. Come back down here on the way back home, please. Save some train trips. New Holmanite build GoPro. I also haven't dropped off the purple belts yet. What are we building over here? Holy crap, that is some reach. No, what are you doing? No, stop. Your butt's... No, no, no. What? What did you... Halt. Wait for inactivity. One minute. What are you doing? Those poor bots. Wait, is it still going down this way? Where's the train? Oh no, I thought I told it to go here first. Is it at least going to do this? No, it's going to wait for its freaking bots to show up. Perfect. Lovely. Wonderful. Did I set it to like 15 seconds instead of... 15 seconds of inactivity, or what? Let's bring... Scaffolding train over, I think. Fuck here, actually. Wait indefinitely. Construction train. Probably doesn't have the... The two facilities that we need. But that's not that big of a deal. I think I have them on my person, actually. Genetic facility. I do. Okay. Let me remove all this as well. I don't want anything excess. And we're going to need some more stuff over here. Let's just try this. And 
this. And turn on my burger court. And do the wiring before things get out of hand. Because pasting on top of bulk rail loaders isn't very effective. But it looks like this is fine. And we have we have many upset bots. There we go. Why are we not picking these up though? This is get it out of here. Not sure what this is, get it out of here. And I think that's our build. Meanwhile, we are missing biomass. But I'm pretty sure it works. Pretty sure. Alright, so these three things need biomass, right? And biomass has a really small stack size. And I was thinking of doing a big 2x2 two two block that would do biomass, among other things. I'm thinking we could do some direct belt insertion there. Even if we design it modularly. Uh, but meanwhile, the genetic data is flowing very quickly indeed. Guess it's going to help us through our backlog of blank data cards quite quickly. Or some of it anyway. Alright, looks like these trains are ready to go back. I think, let me in, fantastic, what about downstairs? Our bots are only now rolling back to the construction train. Uh, um, but yeah, we got that belt sorted out, I think we can switch switch this off. Nuggets don't go anywhere else, right? Pretty sure. Nugget has but one purpose. Unless we want to turn it into bio sludge after making vitalic acid. I don't think so. Um... We'll see. If we end up getting more bio sludge than we can deal with or not this playthrough just with just by not really even trying. But yeah, suffice to say Oh, I should have done this as well. Suffice to say, uh, where am I? Our Vita Melange is going to be a lot faster now. Now we need to actually finish our Bioscience builds to catch up with it. Also, once you've done all that, uh, come back here again, because I suspect we're not going to get it all built in one go. Fantastic. Oh, probably want to go up there as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I changed... I think instead of doing inactivity, I must have done seconds past earlier. Cool. Back to the mall with you. Well, eventually. And what's next? Let's help this poor little bot out. In the end, I finally overestimated how much extract we needed. Uh, I guess we could probably knock off a few more Bio 2s. What's this missing? Steel? And glass. What else can we research that's cheap and good? The bio two. Let's see. That's not bio two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bio one, it's a thousand. Uh we'll have to wait for a proper build before we do the Spidertron, I think. Even if it's much easier to make tier ones. We're out of uh inside over here. Uh, it only costs 10 bio 1 to get Pan's Permia simulation. And then 50 more, probably 100 more, like 150 more before we get... It's, it's a few hundred to Universal. I don't want to bother with that just yet. We could get the bio gun, the premier weapon for accidentally destroying ourselves. Pheromone dart? Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I wonder what weapon it goes in. We could knock off prod 5. Prod 6 is bio 2. Probably need a lot of throughput of Bio 2 stuff for that. Yes, indeed. It really... It really was just the advanced chemical plant that I desperately wanted. We can improve mining productivity once we get bio flowing properly. That's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, I could do some... Oh, I know. I know what I want. Character... Lab research productivity. We should probably knock that off first. Probably should have done it before. Uh, but character inventory slots, I definitely want that. More... More Daigle? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's go drop off some more Bio 1. And I'd better get some more water. Fantastic. Um, how's our construction over here? Much better. Oh wow. It's actually accumulating. 115 bloom per second. Uh, and we can make 105. Oh, but there's also this thing still making bloom. With worse productivity bonuses. It's more effort to remove 
than it is to just leave it there. For now. Um, but yeah, we could probably get rid of the cryo here. Maybe. I kind of want to take 25%. I'd I need another splitter for that. doop a doop Ooh. I just thought of a maybe a different layout for some splitters. Just a neat way to do a 25%. Um, so normally, if we want 25%, we might do this, right? Half of half. Uh, like that. That looks like about 25%. We might do that, indeed. What if, now that we've got, like, input and output priorities, what if we did input priority right, and I'm not actually sure if this is going anywhere. But it's worth a try. If I were to... No, that doesn't do anything, right? Is there a way to play with input and output priorities here? I don't think so. I don't believe there is. We just make a neater layout for it, at least. Is that... Is that just wrong? <laughs> what am I doing? That's just a splitter. Oh, no. Send help. Yeah, I think we actually need three splitters. I don't like that very much. I don't like the look of it. Whoops. I want to kind of prioritize extract, but I also want to make sure... Oh, right. I forgot. I already thought of how I wanted to do this a while ago. What are we waiting for here? Old power poles? Get out of here. Or side load a belt? Can you use slower belt to limit throughput? I could. But I don't think I want to. If we're somehow trying to go all in on spice because extract is saturated. Much more likely than it sounds with trains taking 100 stacks at a time. 26 per second or 32 per second. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Anyway, the thing that I already thought of yesterday. Just gonna move this up a tile. Move this up a tile. Is that gonna 
cause problems? I don't think so. Wait, where's the advanced chemical plant? Oh hey, we can put the advanced chemical plants in. We don't have to do this temporary stuff anymore. Raise B advanced chemical plants. Unfortunately, doing this remotely means we're going to get a bunch of vitamolunge to go back to the mall. Oh, no. Alright, let's let that drain. And grab our blueprint, I think. Just get rid of all of that, because I don't want any mistakes. Should I let this one finish? Probably. It's fine. It's all infinite resources anyway. Get rid of that temp pipe. Have a look at our blueprint. Spicy extract. I need to move the chests two tiles in, I think. And sneeze off Mike. Uh, that looks pretty good. The only reason I can't left click is some belt here and the bulk roll stuff. Alright, why are we not building? Oh no. Uh, how about, how about this? They're not gonna, there are no bots available from the middle. Are you... Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go down there. Don't forget to upgrade the chem plants, indeed. At least we're not going to be taking Vitamelange back to the mall. Oh, beacon trouble. I've gotten to take power so for granted that I didn't even see them there. How much, uh... I think we're okay for uranium. Which is a bit surprising, because I'm pretty sure I didn't get around to... ...tapping that uranium... ...uranium ore... ...planet. I could use energy... whoops. I could use energy beam to clear it, but I'm a little scared of scorching our friend here. Maybe I could save scum. Kyung, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hexy, good to see you again. Also, um, are we out of blue bolts or something? Okay. And what I wanted to do is this. That one's already fine. Um, we are going to... Sushi our... Spice. 
I'm not sure if it's strictly necessary, but that's fine. And we're just gonna say... Don't take the last of the spice. Leave a little bit... for these machines. They need 30 per recipe, so let's say... Uh... 150. That's the first, that's like the lowest common denominator with the stack size. Why not? Why not? And over here as well. Oh, uh, it needs to be greater than, not less than. There we go. Fantastic. So we're going to keep like three stacks of Vitamelange Spice handy for each pair of advanced chemical plants. Why are there no prods here? Oh, I forgot. It actually costs like 10 vitamelange spice, ignoring the prod bonuses, to make... what is it? Seven... three to seven extract. That's weird. Well, it's six on average. Oh, wait. No, five on it. It's like, what, five and a half on average? Whatever, something like that. This thing's actually not looking so good. It can't output because we've got too much spice. Um... In that case... Maybe I should put a little sushi magic in here. Oh wait, we don't need the two splitters. I figured it out. We can use this to recycle. That's kind of neat. So we're only doing 50% um, up here. So there should always be room for these to output within a reasonable amount of time. Although they are playing catch up for the moment. Is that enough? I'm beginning to wonder. I could always put slower belt here. It's a pretty easy way to do it. As long as whatever we're putting through here can keep up. Uh, net 25 spice per second. Well, this, no, this side net consumes spice. So we don't have to worry too much about that, I don't think. And for extract... Uh, well, it just needs like one to get started. How much can it consume? 2.5 per second, that's like nothing.
Is this good enough? It still seems to be output that's the problem. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have used inserters for output here. It's having a surprising amount of trouble with this. I could use faster belts. When in doubt, brute force. Do we really not have any purple belts now? Sad. Let's go back. Oh, and let's try and let the bots in. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to shift C. Get rid of that bit of my lunch. And then... We do have purple belts. The bots are just having a... The bots are just crying tears, that's all. Can you use a pair of belts plus long inserters? Uh, if I had a dedicated belt for the output, yeah, that would solve the problem. But it wouldn't be as fancy. Very important. Do we finally have some room for our bots in here? Yes? Fantastic. Oh, that seems to be working now. That seems to be working now. I really don't think we need this recycled bit, though. Um... I could literally just use a couple of pieces of yellow belt. Like that. Yellow... How did I end up with three? Oh, was it times two? It was. Whoops. Um, but yeah, as long as... I don't think that's fast enough for the spice input. I mean, it's supposed to be dependent on this for the spice input, though. Probably fine. I need to see more... More nuggets. Wait, what's going on here? We're full on wood. Oh no. Oh no. I completely forgot about wood. Oh no. Style demands sacrifices. <laughs> Indeed. Sindri. All right. So I guess our high priority, please consume wood thing isn't really getting the job done. I could throw it into a power plant, but... Well? No, I, I could absolutely throw it into a power plant. One that doesn't have greenhouses to feed it wood. All we need is... Oxygen, steam... So water, oxygen, and wood. I think I probably should just burn it off for power up here. Or at least when it's full, we could do that. Can I elegantly squeeze this in here? Let's 
Or just a burner generator, indeed. Um, thing is, how much water does this go through? 16 per second, that's not a whole lot. How fast does it eat water? I mean wood. 0.25 per second per machine. Uh, it might be consuming slower because we've got like solar panels and stuff. Well, not solar panels so much as wind turbines. I wonder if it prioritizes consumption of the steam from nuclear or what. Why is that full? I have a feeling our power management... No, it seems to be working. It's just happened... It just so happens to have added heat recently. Okay. At least I hope it's not burning fuel needlessly. So how much wood do we get if this is going full speed? 6.336 per second. Um, we would need 26 fuel refineries. This many. Just to burn the wood from this block. What else can wood go into? Oh, right, green circuit. So I was gonna, I was thinking about having a green circuit build that uses wood that's a higher priority to consume from. Should probably do that. Three wood, three copper cable. One stone tablet, three copper cable. That's 0.5 stone. Uh, total raw heavy oil, 248. I'm not sure where sulfuric acid comes into this, or heavy oil. Um, I imagine there's like some weird way to make stone from oil or something, or wood from oil in a very roundabout way. Perhaps, but I have no idea. Too much wood, indeed. What if I just put like a... How aggressive of a burner generator can I get? Um, I know we've got no biters on this planet, but I still don't love the egregious pollution, the thought of it. Uh, we've got burner turbine generator. Two megawatts max consumption. 2.35 megawatts. I can handcraft four of them right now. What if we could just fit it here really conveniently? Um, like this? That looks hideous. Genuinely hideous. Oh no. How fast does it consume? Fairly quickly? Don't think we necessarily need a stack inserted though. So this is basically our flare stack. How fast does it consume? Uh, 1.88 per second out of 6.3. Yeah, we need four. That's not too difficult. And we'll just set it up so that...
I'll, I'll limit these to one cargo wagon each. Again. Oops. Wood spill? Oh, worse than expected. Okay. Uh, so if we've got 140 stacks of wood here, we're going to burn some. What does it stack to? 100? Wood, uh, greater than... No, equal to. Or greater than equal. Whatever. 140, 100. If all of these containers are completely full. Right. Did I leave my construction train here? I did. Let's send it home. Wood, indeed. Kappa Beast, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Indirectly through matter conversion, that might be it. Alright, now that the train is gone, item on ground, pick it up. And... Can I shift C it into place? Why is this not... Oh. It should be greater than equal. I mean, normally greater than would be fine, but what is this? Oh, we're not reading this one. That's why. Okay, so equal should actually work here. Fantastic. Then, and furthermore... Fantastic. So that is 8 megawatt more added to our power network. Amazing. Let's see. I can't. Oh no. Um, this could be a problem. How about shift C now? I'll just uh, put it all back in and then and then set the limits on it. Okay. Lie around holding F. The bots are really really disappointing me right now. I knew they wouldn't be that great, but this is pretty bad. Why are we bonking? Look at all this. I knew that this could happen, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Oh no. Still going. Maybe I should use the decon train. <laughs> but then it'll all end up in the mall. Do we request wood at the mall for anything? I doubt it. Yeah, no. Don't particularly want wood to end up there. Oh, I could probably use more Roboposs. That might make it a little faster. Alright, good time to grab a drink, I think.
that's a little better. How hot is it? It's only 26 degrees at 10 p.m. Cool, cool, cool. At least I'll be able to cool off before it gets hot tomorrow. And at least our bots can skip their recharge animation and not take power from RoboPorts if we just pick them up. Fantastic. It won't ever burn now that it has over the amount you set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an oopsie. It's 4 degrees here at 1pm? I'm not a fan of the cold either, but... Uh, I guess if I'm streaming in an in a slightly airtight room to block out sound with a heat generating device next to me, um, it's probably easier to do something about four degree temperature than. Well, it's well over twenty six degrees in this room. I can guarantee that. I agree, Vel... Vel Dark? Dark Vel Dark. Spooky. Night Dancer, we go. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. At least we can sleep without sweating like hell, though. Yes. Yeah, I can... I can put up with quite a lot more if I get to recover in between. Cold is better as you can dress against it easily, but taking off your skin in the heat is more difficult, indeed. And there's not a whole lot you can do about the wet bulb problem, if it gets that severe. You know, unless you have air conditioning when the power goes out. Maybe just take water out of the fridge, pour it all over yourself, dig underground, I don't know. If you're not particularly prepared for it, it's a bit bit of a problem. There's an evil twin on Twitch called Veldar underscore K, or maybe I'm the evil twin? Indeed. I get GPU overheat, uh... Overheat issues if the room goes over 25. Yikes. Normally, like, not in the middle of summer. Well, this isn't exactly the middle of summer. Uh, but in colder weather, my current system is extremely quiet. Um, I got, like, a Be Quiet fan. I've got a graphics card that'll actually switch its fan off if it gets cool enough. Um, of course, you're going to hear it anytime you play any Unreal 3 engine game, because for some reason all of them just force your graphics card to get warm even if it's just sitting in the menu or even if you're alt-tabbed or paused or something. Um, but yeah. No, uh, un under cold conditions, uh, my my system is quite quiet, but uh, presently sitting idle, it's making plenty of noise. I don't mean right this second, I mean like earlier in the day before streaming when I'm not playing a game that has GPU demands or anything. Okay, I didn't really even notice, but we got our, um, we got our wood sorted out. Let's set this back to a hundred stacks, fifty each, and that's going to have to be greater than or equal. I could come back and change it later, but what more? 
What? Oh. And now we're not gonna... Now we're gonna have a slightly... Just a little bit more power, and we're not gonna... Stop getting nuggets, because we've got too much wood. Fantastic. I really... Even if the items were slow, I probably should have put splitters here and made these unlimited. You know what? It's not too late. It's not too late. To do the right thing. Even distro... And long trains only. We've already got it set up that way. That way it doesn't get imbalanced. And then... Uh, and then we change this. Let that drain real quick. anyone explain what maximum module power of a beacon is? Maximum module power? Good question. Astronus is taken? Uh, sorry, Astron is taken? Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. Whoops, whoops, and furthermore, whoops. Okay. Um, so how much can this take? 320 stacks times 2, uh, 64k, so if that's full, if it's full, by all means, burn some wood, and then we'll just even distro. So that whole thing where we spilled wood everywhere was completely unnecessary. It's fine. Don't worry about it. In fact, what the hell is this? I think I like this better. Okay. That's quite a lot of nuggets. Shouldn't it be greater or equal rather than just equal? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's only going to trigger when it's completely full. Which is the only time I'm going to let it do that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm very slow now. There we go. Fantastic. Hey look, this is full. Nice. Oh, almost completely full. What is... Oh, that got pasted on. Get out of here. How did that even get full, if that's the case? Who knows? Meanwhile, in orbit, we have the maximum amount of vitamin and spice. That didn't take long. Damn. Uh, I don't see any extract, though. Uh, I stand corrected. There is definitely extract. And this should be on this side. And we're almost sending another train load already. Very cool. Uh, I need to... I need to do some spaghetti signs for these upgrades. 
which ones are we up to? Crafting speed, health, movement speed. I don't care that much. But it's only like 300 bio one signs. We got the uh, inventory space upgrade, more importantly. I don't think the movement speed is going to affect jetpack speed, is it? I was thinking of picking up some more spice, but I don't think we need to. Okay. Where were we? Only 26 science pack ones? Say what? We need blanks. Oh, I think we just had a bunch of blanks lying around here. We didn't actually get them delivered. Uh, okay. I think we can... Do something about that. I'm just going to remove all of these. In fact, blank slate. Blank, data card. And deliver. And deliver. Oh, I probably need to set this slightly higher because I think it said there were like 17 blank cards. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And we probably need to pick up some more inside. No, we might have enough inside already. Couldn't hurt to make a bit more, I guess. Where's the cat too? Oh, there isn't any. Okay. Let's ignore that for now. Should probably go back to the drawing board with... Uh... Bio... Science. Wherein I want to do a block... Um, a 2x2 two two block. To deal with all of the things with tiny stack sizes. We'll probably have plenty of room here. We're already doing... Wait. Genetic data. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we should probably make the nutrient bats on the spot. Because, again, stack size 5 and very, very few uses. Literally just two uses, in fact, these two. Let's check our ratio here. So we got a perfect ratio for nutrient vats. Um, we'll bring in nutrient gel, bio sludge, spice, iron, glass from outside. Um, I think that's a perfect ratio for... Bioculture, fantastic. This actually produces two biomass per second, along with six, less than one stack, but oh, slightly more than one stack. Of tier two biomass per second. Okay, and then what do we do with it? Um. We're going to have consumers here, 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 and I think here for the biomass. Uh, the tier one biomass, that is. Nope, not for the fourth one. 
How much is it looking for, in theory? 27.2 per second. I don't think we're really going to be going that fast. Maybe. Then again, we want to aim for like 3-ish per second for most of the data cards. So this is like 4 per second, this is like 6 per second, that's 10. Um, and probably about 8 to 10 per second here. Hello, Lord Vader. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I should have, like, some super block somewhere that's even bigger. Except, like I said, I wanted to have the biomass on the belts. Hmm. This only takes experimental... Okay. Probably, I was going to rotate this, but maybe not. What a pain. Bioscience. Worst science. Gonna put that on a t-shirt. What's our throughput here? Um, it's only 8 per second. Uh, assuming we don't, like, beacon it. Yeah, 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 that might help. That might help with the whole speed thing. Efficiency modules first. What are these superior effi super efficiency modules? I don't think we will test with those. Whoops. Need some power. Let's do a cheap power thing for now. Even that isn't that big <laughs> compared to the size of this. Three data cards per second is a little under 1500 SPM in terms of tier 4 science packs. That sounds like a lot, actually. 1500 per minute. 25 per second. Uh, that might be more than we need. Probably. That, that doesn't go there. How about this? Or... How, how about we just do it the normal way? Since we know the three... Wait, I didn't check. 27 per second. Door. Um... Where does our beacon fit between these? Well, okay, that's perfect, actually. Did I do that on purpose? Probably. No, knowing me, that was probably deliberate. Okay. Um, if this goes up here somewhere, and that's no good. This needs to fit under the beacon. Uh, what if something like this? How well can we squeeze these together? 
reasonably well, I think. Oh, we need like a swap chest, and we have to get rid of junk cards. How many junk cards are we looking at here? 2.7 per second? I guess technically I could use bots for that. This also does junk cards. And swappy swaps. But we need more machines for the ratio. Hmm. Well, in any case... Nutrient vats. Let's just use inserters. Wait, how fast are these individually? Seven per second. And in here... That kind of looks like it's floating or something. That's a little better. Or how about... Oops, how about this? Then, then we're blocking our own pipes. Good job. Good job. Let's just try to ignore that for now. So we're going to have, like, that's not going to reach, fantastic. Oh, this has solid inputs as well. So we could probably do, how fast is it? Only 5.44 per second for each solid. So we could do a half belt for each of those over here. Seems a good. Let's just throw some test inputs here for now. Shift right, shift left doesn't work. If underground pipe reaches, I think there we go. What if what if we do fives? Does that reach? Oh, one off. Come on, man. All right. I guess this doesn't look too bad. I will pretend. Kind of like that. We'll need some fluid input. And we also need film lunch spice and everything nice. Let's just pretend we have that. Well, all of that's going to come from the rail network. So I'm just going to shift... What the f... <laughs> so even with infinity chests... Shift right, shift left... Um, to set... Requests or filters or whatever... Uh, if you have a bunch of speed on a machine... Can give you an overfull chest. Fantastic. Anyway, we'll do a quick cheat input for that, and we need bio sludge as well. I haven't decided where those pipes are going to be just yet. This is all very tentative. Now then. Rate should... If there's four speed modules here, yeah. Rate should still be the same. 
the relative rate, that is. Oops. Fantastic. Uh, and we only need 27 per second. 27.2. Um, what's our output? Oh yeah, we need to do the swappy swap. I keep forgetting. Um, I'm just gonna void junk data cards for now. We'll obviously send those to a output station. And genetic data needs to do a swappy swap. Let's do a filter inserter. Genetic data. And back in. What? Oh, I see. There we go. I managed to get a detailed screenshot of bio cards. It's designed for 4.5 cards per second. I haven't tested it at that speed yet. It's going to be big, isn't it? That's pretty big, yeah. So many belts. Much monolith. Okay. So if I do a filtered output here uh, for, what is it called? Bioculture. Bio... Culture is here somewhere, right? Fantastic. Now we need splitters. At last. We only need one belt, so the splitting is... No, what the... What? No, no. What? Oh, they just look like two different resources. Because when, when they're on the belt vertically, it looks like a light green thing and a bunch of dark green things. Okay, then. Alright, and then we need nutrient gel. Uh, needs to go here. Hmm. What's going to be our overall rate for nutrient gel? 544 per second is not that bad. Uh, I don't know if it's going to cause us any problems or not before we add pumps. But I kind of need a pump here to make it fit right anyway. How long is this? Nine tiles, I think. And I don't actually want it to connect on the side. Oh. And here I thought this was going to be a good fit. How about... A 7 here, perhaps. What? It thinks it's mixing it. Why? Because these are connected. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, so now we get biomass out and our waste fluids. This one's actually pretty nice and clean and simple. This one sometimes outputs biomass. I think... We could just do a couple of filtered long arms. I 
the outfits for these. Assuming that I can fit those over here, which I can. So we're going to go biomass. Bio... Biomass? Where are you? Wherefore art thou biomass? There it is. And then... Experimental biomass we're going to do on the near side. And we're going to put those here like this. And then... Same thing over here. Uh, that kind of looks like it's outputting to here, but it's not. Okay. Won't the biomass from here block the biomass from here if I continue the belt across, though? Should I not do it that way? What would be our max rate? Only 29 biomass per second. I don't think that's a problem. As long as we don't actually keep making biomass until it's all backed up and there's no room. Maybe I should put the biomass downwind. Because it, it's not like... These depend on each other, weirdly enough. I thought I remembered in SE.5 we had to take biomass and then turn it into experimental biomass like half the time and, and then it came back. But I'm not seeing anything like that here. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Okay, so what if we, like, swapped these around? Something like that. Could do the input belt on this side, starting from the other end. And I'm thinking we could just put eight of these together with one beacon in the middle somewhere. And have those feed both of those builds. How much does that get us or consume? Iron and glass are sufficiently slow. We're going to need more than one belt for the nutrient fat output. Uh, that's kind of a problem. Well, it doesn't have to be. It definitely doesn't have to be. So many possibilities. If this is nine tiles across... Oh, I was going to do the input on the inside. Potentially. Or I could do... If it's only 1.4 per second... No, why don't I do it like this, actually? Input on the outside, output in the middle. And... I think I'll use loaders so that we don't get any issues with inserters outputting. Which 
which means... Which means what, actually? How do I merge it properly? That looks kind of weird. But might be the best way to go about it. Let's see. Is that it? It's kind of neat, actually. I kind of like it. Except it needs to be right up against the beacon. And then this could go here, and this could go anywhere we'd like. That's kind of good. Very tidy, actually. Uh, and then... Like, swap these around at the end if we want. So that's eight of these to support all of these. I need some speed modules. Rate count. Everything all exactly zero for nutrient paths. Fantastic. And now we just decide where these should go. Because I think... Well, actually... Actually, actually... We could put all of that under one beacon without too much difficulty. I'm, I'm starting to like where this is going. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, and furthermore, cool. So let's see, this one consumes... ...exactly half, and this lot consumes exactly half. Okay. How much does each individual one need? Uh, four and a half per second. We've got room, I may as well do loaders here. Except first we have to worry about the input fluid. And we need to leave room for... Actually no, we don't do any swappy swap here. Only this one does swappy swap. Okay. Well, first of all, let's figure out how these fit together. Maybe I'll do these on the output side. Depending on how this looks. That looks kind of sketch. How about this side? Maybe I could move all these up a bit. Who needs cable porn when you got Factorio builds like that? Oh no. Uh, and I left no room actually for the physical inputs for these. How much further out can I put this? Not at all. Not even a little bit. So maybe we'll do our inputs on the other side. Uh, 
don't think I should do it that way, actually. How about... 3Bs plus underground pipe. So that we can do inputs like so. So this will be iron plus glass. So far so good. Just use inserters. Why? Why not? It's only it's less than five per second each, and we're inserting, not outputting. So the inserters aren't going to cause problems. Okay. On the other hand, we need uh, extract, and we need experimental genetic data. More than half a belt per second? Oh no. That's not what I wanted to see. That's not what I wanted to see at all. So we're going to need two belts for input. Um, and then, of course, we still need to output. Which is going to be a little tricky. Or just messy. Mr. Dane, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. And can I just do the output like this? I suppose. That's not going to reach, is it? Uh, that's not too bad. 1,000 raids more and we'll be even. <laughs> Indeed. After a 1,000 raids, one only sees belts. Um, I guess that's not too bad. I don't love it. But we need that throughput. How fast is our output from these? Pretty slow. Well, it's slow as far as superior inserters are concerned. So if you don't raid me anymore in a thousand years, I might catch up. <laughs> it's fine. Especially when there's like one or two people doing SE and or K2 when I go to raid someone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do the back three on the near side. And that's our output. And I kind of want this thing to be symmetrical. Oh, it also wants bio sludge. Fantastic. You know, it's really starting to look like I should have done input on the middle. Uh, especially because this is exactly... Oh, now that doesn't touch the beacon. Lovely. Looking lovely. Uh, but 
here. We don't need much input wise. And we've got perfect ratio here, perfect ratio here. And why am I dragging this from the middle out this way? And this from the middle out this way? We don't need to merge and split it. So something not quite like this. Actually, what the hell is that? Um... Pretty sure this is... I was going to say that's the only place we need nutrient gel. That's not true at all. But we'll figure it out. Together. We can actually fit fivers here. Uh, the middle is going to be a bit of a pain. Is what I'm realizing. Actually, we can just make a little exception here. And I think this will reach up here. And I'm realizing the beacon isn't centered. But that's not... Oh, even better. Yeah, 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 that makes more sense. Now we're thinking with copy-paste. All right. What do these need individually? Very little. What? That's so much easier. So much neater. And the output... Uh, what have we got here? One, two, three, four to six. So I guess belt is the way to go. One of these can support less than two of these. Uh, that might actually be a problem. If I don't have the belt bend back. I'd love to center this if I can. Hold on. This is linked to these two, this is linked to these two, this is linked to these two, and this is linked to these two. That's probably fine, right? Reminds me of green circuits. Let's find out. And we can fit our pipes nice and easy. It's also rather compact. I'm starting to like this. I like it a lot more than what we had a few minutes ago. Okay, uh, we need some test input. Bio sludge, nutrient gel, um, iron plate and glass. And then we just need to, whoops, uh, I was going to say all inputs here, but let's get rid of the nutrient vats at the very least. And then void everything that comes out. I don't think we're going to have trouble. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... What? Wait, what? No, bad. Uh, 
this is perfect ratio. But we've got... Oh, right. I forgot. We need more inserters for this to work. Each one of these should be supplying two, not one. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, one, two. One, 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 two, and one. Does that work? Or do we need more inserters? This one seems to just barely manage. Which should imply that the rest of them should be fine. Yeah, I think... I think that's 100%. Literally perfect. Fantastic. I kind of want to place these, like, in a way that's more consistent, if possible. That looks good. Fantastic, indeed. Shmua, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And on this side... Um, you know what? Perhaps we could send our biomass through here so that we don't need one more um, pipe input. How fast does it consume biomass? 400 per second? That should be fine for the pipes. And then, don't need these, need whatever this is. We do need, oh no, oh no. If this is north to south, it's not gonna look like a loader is going in. I could put it here. That's going a bit far for the aesthetic, I guess. We're only doing 27.2 per second. Um, so I don't think we have to worry about using loaders. Oh, we could just use loaders though. If we're using barely more than half a belt, Then we could do it like this, it should be fine. Unless this one prefers to do like this side of the belt. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's fine. None of these are having trouble outputting. Well, that one actually did. Okay, never mind. We'll use the smelly inserters. Actually, I kind of want to swap those around. A 
alternating inserters. That's kind of neat. Could watch that all day. These two haven't quite fallen into the same pattern. How sad. Um, but yeah, that's looking like a pretty good start. We will need... Uh, nutrient gel, bio sludge, extract, spice, uh, experimental genetic data, genetic data. I kind of want to swap the sides of these now. Because the genetic data came first. It wouldn't be too difficult to do that. I'll just... I can't rotate these, but... Should be able to just do it like this. What? Why is that one one tile extra f high up? Blasphemy. Okay. So if we want to do it one way or the other, we've got these handy. Easy enough. Now then. We want the next step to be... Bunk? What was the bunk for? Who that bonkin'? What is this? I don't think we need that. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way that fits together. That's good. Inserters are off? Which ones? Oh, these are backwards. True. Alright. Do I want to do these next to each other or in series? I think I'll just. Hmm. Depends on the space they take up. Considering how wide they are, I'd really like to do them in series. I think we should do the experimental biomass first. Just to make absolutely sure that we're not blocking it with biomass. Black ones are off. What's wrong with them? Oh. True. True. Yeah, this takes up a lot of space. I kind of like to put these close together as well. Especially since the pipes will connect to the output fluids. Oh, it's about time to finish. Just as well, my vision's getting all blurry, blinky. Should probably get a bit of rest before tomorrow anyway. Um, but yeah, that might just connect up like so. And we'll have to check how much biomass we've got, like, down here somewhere. And put a limiter on outputting biomass from this. 
Don't the roundabouts still need to be there? The roundabouts? What do you mean roundabouts? Well, we didn't get that far with designing the big improved uh, bioscience, but I definitely, definitely like where this is going. Um, so we'll expand on that a bit. The rail roundabouts. Oh, right. Still the roundabout. Well, I don't know, actually. Probably not. This rail system's kind of versatile. So here we have a T intersection. As long as we don't actually need like a double direction rail. We could probably just use the corners. Like we usually do. Yeah, we could turn this into a T intersection, no problem. Uh, that works. Using a bit of um, double direction instead of extra rails. It's the wrong rail though. Yeah, I know, I know. This is just a, this is just a drawing board. That's fine. Anyway, uh, let's save real quick. Hopefully nothing bad has happened. And see who we're going to raid today. Factorio? Did I save it? I'm pretty sure I saved it. We've got Hofnix. Surface Excavation. Always with his... Ever so clever SE acronyms. Um, I see Tumbling, but Tumbling's always, always, always playing vanilla. Uh, I think it's got to be Hofnix. Yeah. Is it bad? Hofnix or Tumbles, indeed. No, no, okay. All right, let's sneak up on him. Tune? Uh, maybe next time. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll continue with the bioscience. Uh, as long as I haven't melted into a puddle. And till then, stay safe. Take care, Veldak. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you stay cool, but you're cool AF, so probably no sweat. Thank you so much, Larius. And uh, for now, away we go.